Outside the living room, Zhang Quan is being fed fruit by his mother, who also complains, this fruit isn't as fresh or tasty as the ones my mother bought for my child. Lin saw Sa's and Yishua's mother looked dark from the kitchen, Yishua turned into the kitchen and asked Lin Sa Sa, have you ever washed clothes for auntie? After getting Sa Sa's answer, Yishua continued, our parents don't even take care of us, and yet you come to do housework for others. Don't you think that's not right? After speaking, Lin Sa Sa also felt something was wrong, Yishua decided to slowly persuade Lin Sa Sa step by step, saying, you should remember, in the future you will still have to live with your in-laws. Their house is not just marrying a daughter-in-law, but inviting a caregiver at no cost. Lin Sa Sa's face paled, Shua Shua, how can you say that? Yishua continued, today is the first time they've come to ask for a marriage, look at what they brought, they came empty-handed. So do other families get engaged like that? Sa Sa, they basically don't see you, don't value you at all. Yishua's words seemed to awaken someone from a dream. Lin Sa Sa's face grew paler and paler, at this moment, Zhi Yu Lian, Sa Sa's mother, also opened the door and stepped in. Sa Sa, I also feel that Shua Shua is not wrong, she said. Lin Sa Sa looked surprised at Zhi Yu Lian, she was very angry. If it weren't for your liking, I would have wanted to hit them already, do you need to hear what they have to say? Mom, he has been very busy lately, he is usually very good to me. This time may just be a mistake, Zhi Yu Lian continued. His parents don't value me at all, how can someone who goes to the door unarmed for the first time be good to me? Upon hearing this, Yishua breathed a sigh of relief. The Lin family finally has someone who understands. Lin Sa Sa looked surprised at her mother. What should I do now? Zhi Yu Lian signaled, Shua Shua, what do you think we should do about this? She turned back to look at Lin Sa Sa. If you want to know if Zhang Quan values you, we can do it like this. Okay, Lin Sa Sa nodded. Then follow what I say, Yishua whispered a few words, and Lin Sa Sa sighed with relief, Shua Shua, don't worry. There are only 80,000 gifts, the boy and the girl will definitely agree. Zhi Yu Lian also said, 80,000 is nothing to the Zhang family. If you really want to use gifts to test the attitude of the Zhang family, then just consider it as 180,000. Yishua said calmly, no, I don't think the Zhang family even wants to spend 80,000, let alone 180,000. The reason I mentioned such a small amount is to make Sa Sa see it clearly, Zhi Yu Lian quickly went to the living room to talk. Zhang Quan's mother was shocked to hear that. Gifts? Didn't we talk about gifts before? 80,000? Lin Sa Sa hasn't even entered the house and already demands 80,000 in gifts, she frowned and asked, Sa Sa. What's going on? Auntie, I. Zhi Yu Lian immediately interrupted Sa Sa and, seeing the attitude of Zhang Quan's mother, her heart sank. It seems that Zhuo Zhuo was right. The Zhang family wants a free nanny, Zhi Yu Lian laughed and said, from ancient times until now, I have never heard of a family marrying off their daughter without requiring a single gift. The daughter in front of our family, the son-in-law's family not only has a house and a car, but also has 280,000 in gift money. Moreover, we definitely also want to give the bride price, let's see if it meets your approval. Mrs. Zhang Quan laughed, what, shouldn't there be a bride price? What does that mean? Do you want my daughter, or do you want our family's bride price? How can there be such shameless families like yours? We want to have the betrothal ceremony here, and then the bride price will be given to Sa Sa for marriage. What do you think? Mrs. Zhang chuckled, 8,000 is not a small amount, I have to go home and discuss it. She thought to herself, just a poor girl wanting a betrothal ceremony? Dream on. Zhu Yu Lian angrily nodded, wait until you finish negotiating, then we can talk about the marriage. What disappointed Lin Sa Sa was that throughout the entire process, Zhang Quan didn't say a word. He seemed to be just as Zhuo Zhuo had said, he didn't care about her at all. Sa Sa immediately called out, Zhang Quan, come over here. He asked, what's wrong, Sa Sa? She then asked, the 8,000 betrothal money, did your family actually spend it? Zhang Quan was a little embarrassed and said, 
I have to ask my mother about this. He thought, this woman has been used up, and she still wants me to spend money? A man as excellent as me, marrying her is already her good fortune. Sasa angrily retorted, do you think I care about this money? I'm afraid my parents will misunderstand you, that's why I demanded a betrothal gift. So, can't your own account handle 80,000? Zhang Quan was shocked by the interrogation, and after a moment, he said, your mother knows the money in my account very well. If she suddenly sees a decrease, she will definitely find out. Sa Sa, don't worry, I will definitely make my mother let go of the money. Lin Sa Sa, with a tense expression, said, okay, I'll wait for you. She was very worried and thought. Why are they so indifferent, could it be that in the eyes of the Zhang family, I'm not worth 80,000? Later, when they returned home, his mother had lost her composure and asked, what did Lin Sa Sa mean? Lin Sa Sa truly doesn't know right from wrong. I warned my son early not to marry a woman like her. He quickly persuaded his mother, it's not just about the 80,000, our family is not lacking. Moreover, she mentioned having a dowry. His mother then glared at him. This is not a money issue, today mother took out this amount, tomorrow Lin Sa Sa dare to climb on mother's head, she is deliberately showing off with mother. She is someone who has already gone through the door and is still demanding money, not as educated or beautiful as Yi Zhua. on what basis should mother give her a congratulatory gift? Now call her and tell her that Zhang family will not give a single penny of this 80,000. He looked at his mother with an annoyed expression. If not given, Sasa may break up with you. Zhang Quan hesitated, said, she's asleep, how can a broken person have the right to talk about breaking up? After breaking up with you, where can she find someone as good as you? Son, our family conditions are good, Lin Sa Sa will definitely not bear to let you go. Talk to her. Seeing Zhang Quan's phone call, Sa Sa's face was incredulous, what did he say? How can Zhang family not give a penny? Sa Sa, this is to test whether you deserve to be in Zhang family or not. If you can do it, you will be the future mistress of Zhang family. Lin Sa Sa angrily scolds, you are shameless, I didn't expect Zhang family to really. As she was speaking, Lin Sa Sa suddenly felt nauseous and couldn't help but vomit. What should I do now? Lin Sa Sa came out of the bathroom, looking pale in the mirror, yes, find Xu Zhua to help, she must have a way. A moment later she arrived at Yi Zhua's house, Lin Sa Sa knocked on the door, Xu Zhua, are you there? Yi Zhua in the room looked up at the door. Surprised at Sa Sa's voice, Yi Zhu looked out, Sa Sa's face seems a bit wrong, Sister Sa Sa, are you not feeling well? Lin Sa Sa said I'm fine, just annoyed with the Zhang family, come in, let me see for you, Yi Zhu put her hand on Lin Sa Sa's wrist, after touching for about 10 seconds, she looked up at Lin Sa Sa, with a somewhat complicated expression, she hesitated a bit, then said, Sa Sa, you're pregnant, what? Lin Sa Sa was shocked, is it true, Shua Shua? I'm pregnant like this, the next moment, Lin Sa Sa laughed, now I'm pregnant, if Zhang Quan and his parents find out, they will surely be very happy. By then, don't say 80,000, even if it's 800,000, they will definitely spend it on the celebration. Yi Zhua slightly raised her eyebrows, how could you forget about this morning's situation, sister? Sa Sa, don't you feel like they basically ignore you? And there's Zhang Quan. She hesitated before continuing, this child comes at the perfect time. Xu Zhua, I think Zhang Quan and his parents are not those kinds of people, now I will go to the hospital for a checkup, wait for my good news. Sister Sa Sa will not die without going to the Yellow River, she can only let her see the cruel reality, which can make her wake up. After finding out she was pregnant, Lin Sa Sa no longer worried, she now only thought about going to the hospital for a checkup quickly and then telling Zhang Quan the good news. It was his first time being a father, and Zhang Quan was also very excited, really, Sa Sa? Are you really pregnant? Sa Sa nodded, she opened her bag to take out the ultrasound report, Zhang Quan, look, this is the doctor's checkup report. Zhang Quan took it, smiled and said, that's great, I want to tell my parents this good news, they will surely be very happy. Lin Sa Sa was also happy, she hinted, so should we. 
Zhang Quan immediately said, of course we should get married. Today he went to talk to our parents about our marriage. The more Zhang Quan thought about it, the happier he felt. Lin Sa Sa continued, but last time, because of the engagement, my parents were angry. This time, should your parents come to apologize? After all, last time my aunt also said some unpleasant things. Zhang Quan quickly nodded, that's the right thing to do. Sa Sa, don't worry, I will make them apologize. That's great then. Seeing his good attitude, Lin Sa Sa also breathed a sigh of relief, I know, Zhang Quan is definitely not the kind of person Zhu Zhu described. When he returned home, Zhang Quan shared the good news with his parents. Hearing that, his mother looked surprised at her son. What did you say? He continued, Sa Sa is pregnant, she is carrying our child, here is the hospital report. His father took the report, read it carefully word by word, and excitedly said, we have a descendant now, the Zhang family finally has a descendant. Mrs. Zhang took the report from Mrs. Zhang, she didn't seem happy, frowned and said, did she use the pregnancy to threaten you? Getting pregnant before marriage, it's really shameful. Mom, don't say that, Sa Sa didn't make any demands. She just hopes that our family can provide an 80,000 yuan betrothal gift. Then, then what? Her face turned cold as Zhang Quan scratched his head and said, she hopes that you and dad can come to her house to apologize to her parents. Apologize? Ridiculous. That wretched woman really thinks that, just because she's pregnant, she can threaten me? I've eaten more salt than she's eaten rice, she said with a look of contempt. Zhang Quan looked embarrassed, mom, don't talk about Sa Sa like that. She's carrying my child. She snorted coldly, what woman can't get pregnant and give birth? Do you really think that in this world, only one hen can lay eggs? She wants our family to pay an 80,000 yuan betrothal gift? She even wants me to apologize to her parents? Dream on. Zhang Quan looked at his mother in surprise, are you really not going to pay the betrothal gift? She crossed her arms, not to mention 80,000 yuan, I wouldn't even give 8 cents. That scoundrel threatened your pregnant mother, just because he was afraid you wouldn't marry him. Son, don't worry. Even if we don't pay him 80,000, he will still marry into our Zhang family. Tell him, three months after the wedding, if he wants to marry, he can, if not, then forget it. If he gets pregnant, tell him to go to the hospital for an abortion. Zhang Quan was shocked, his face turned pale. Mom, what do you mean by this? She lightly slapped Zhang Quan's hand. Humph, look at how eager he is. Do you think Lin Sa Sa always wants to marry you for our wealth? I tell you to do this, because we need to show authority to her, so that she will listen to us in the future, not like now, demanding betrothal gifts. Son, you must remember, marriage is like playing chess. If you want to have a high position, you must have strategy and courage to seize the other person. Only then will we live comfortably in the future, and Lin Sa Sa will listen to us. I understand and know what to do, mom. Lin Sa Sa stared at the computer screen, thinking she would hear good news, not expecting the awaited result to be like this. How could they? I hacked their home cameras, because I wanted you to know their true thoughts, Yi Shua explained. Lin Sa Sa cried even more, they think I'm a gold digger. Shua Shua, what should I do now? Yi Zhua calmly said, Sa Sa, get an abortion. What? Lin Sa Sa's face changed drastically, tears streaming down her face. Clearly, she had no intention of having an abortion. Yi Zhua continued, marrying someone like Zhang Quan will not bring you happiness. Even if you get married, you'll end up divorced. Bringing a child into an unhappy family will only lead to a miserable childhood. It's better to terminate the pregnancy before it develops further. Yi Zhua added, moreover. Sometimes Zhang Quan's eyes seem to be scheming something. Lin Sa Sa clutched her belly in fear, but it's still a small life. Isn't this a bit too extreme? Yi Zhua frowned, Sa Sa, do you want me to replay the footage from the camera? To remind you how your future in-laws and husband think of you? Yishua thought to herself, Sasa is only good at falling in love. It seems I have to be harsh. 
Hearing this, Sa Sa cried out, Ridiculous. Yes, to Zhang Quan and his parents, I am just a worthless woman. You're right, all of this was my choice. Turns out everything is just my imagination. Yi Zhu took Lin Sa Sa's hand and said, Don't be sad, this kind of person is not worth it. Trust me, you're still young, you will have a bright future. Look clearly now, the scum can be saved. Lin Sa Sa raised her head and looked at Yi Zhu with a determined gaze, Zhu Zhu, I want to lead this child. Yi Zhu looked at Lin Sa Sa and asked, Are you sure? Lin Sa Sa nodded, Yes, even though I don't want to but it can't have a father like Zhang Quan. Yi Zhu hugged Lin Sa Sa and comforted her, don't be heartbroken for that kind of person, it's not worth it. Trust me, your future will definitely be bright. Zhu Zhu, thank you, Sa Sa wiped her tears. Okay Zhu Zhu, I won't bother you anymore. Sa Sa, let me take you back, Lin Sa Sa said with a smile, I want to go alone. Zhu Zhu, don't worry, I'll be fine. He's just a scumbag, not worth anything to me. Lin Sa Sa sighed, right, can you send me the video clip from earlier? Sure, I'll send it to your Gmail in a moment. Watching her walk away, Yi Zhu whispered to himself, I hope Sa Sa can quickly overcome this. At the same time, in the Lin family in the capital city of Beijing, hearing the sound of a car engine outside the door, Madame Lin's eyes lit up, Tian Hua is here. The maid, Mrs. Zhang, beside her, opened her mouth, after so many years, Miss Tianhua is still the most devoted person. She comes here every day to be by your side. Madame Lin chuckled, that's right. Mrs. Zhang hesitated for a moment before continuing, Madame, there is something I'm not sure if I should mention. She went on, I just think, Miss Tianhua has waited for Mr. Jin Qing for so many years, should she be given a status? She has devoted the best 18 years of her life to Mr. Jin Qing, how many times can a woman have 18 years like that? Madame Lin also sighed. Hmm, I'm also hesitant about this, I know Mr. Jin Qing's personality. Madam, Mr. Jin Qing always pays the most attention to young Master Aze. If young Master Aze were to say he wants Miss Tianhua to marry him, who knows, he might agree. Hearing this, Madame Lin's eyes lit up. It seems reasonable, let me go find Aze. Later, outside the courtyard, Mrs. Zhang looked around and then lowered her voice. Today I mentioned that to Madame Lin, she is very worried, she has gone to find young master Aze Feng Tianhua took out a card from her bag and handed it to Mrs. Zhang, this little thought is for your son, thank you Miss Tianhua, rest assured, the future owner of this estate can only be you. In the study, Mrs. Lin glanced at Lin's A pondered her words in her head and said to Zay, do you hope that your father will find another mother for you? Lin Zay had no expression on his face, as soon as Madame Lin was about to say something, Lin Zay said is that person, Aunt Fong? Yes, yes Madame Lin immediately nodded, after speaking Madame Lin continued to Zay, do you hope that Aunt Fong will be your new mother? No Lin Zay's voice was emotionless, Mrs. Lin was shocked, this answer surprised her and she asked why. Lin Zay replied because I already have a mother, your mother? Madame Lin frowned and said, but your mother has passed away Lin Zay, just looked at her and said. Grandma, you always say that my mother is no longer here, but I have never seen her grave. There is no memorial in our old house, tell me, has my mother really passed away? Mrs. Lin was shocked to hear that. Do you doubt me? Your mother is truly gone, Madame Lin sighed, Lin Zay asked, how did she pass away? Madame Lin furrowed her brow slightly, thinking of Yi Shu, hatred filling her eyes, you only need to know that your mother has passed away, the dead cannot come back to life. Why do you want to know so clearly? Grandma, tell me, where is my mother? Even the deceased should have a grave, right? Mrs. Lin looked up at Lin Zay, a pained expression on her face as she said, when that woman gave birth to you. She abandoned Jin Qing and the newborn child, Yu, and ran off with another man. Unexpectedly, they were both killed in a car accident on the way. Lin Zay immediately could not accept it, no, you're lying, my mother is not that kind of person, absolutely not. Mrs. Lin sighed, I am your grandmother, do you think I would deceive you? According to Madame Lin's words, Lin Zay took a while to find his own voice. 
Where is my mother buried? Keep quiet, Madam Lin scolded. That woman fundamentally does not deserve to be called your mother, let alone be a mother. Lin Zhe's tone was very cold. Grandma, anyone can be your stepmother, except Feng Tianhua, Lin Zhe cut in and turned away, angering Mrs. Lin, who called out, Hey, Aze. As Lin Zhe walked out, he coincidentally ran into Lin Jin Qing, coming back from the company. Lin Zhe stopped and called out, Dad. Lin Jin Qing remained as gentle as ever, with a faint smile on his face, and asked, Where are you going? Do you need me to take you? No need, Dad, Lin Zhe looked at Lin Jin Qing as if he had a thousand things to say. His eyes stopping on Lin Jin Qing's prosthetic leg, and he smiled. It's okay, I'll go ahead. Lin Jin Qing watched his son's back, sighed, and thought to himself, when he just came home, he was still a child. In the blink of an eye, he has grown up so much. Half an hour later, a fast motorbike appeared on the winding mountain road, the friction between the tires and the ground creating smoke. Li Wen cursed, what the hell, Aze, doesn't need a network anymore? Another person said, he must be thinking about his mother again. Hu Biao, Li Wen, pay attention to me later. At this moment, a cool motorcycle stopped in front, the helmet of the same color was removed, revealing a youthful face full of vitality, with sharp features, that was Lin Zhe. Shortly after, Lin Zhe said, How do you guys feel about my grandma? The three looked at each other, all looking suspicious, Hu Biao said, SOSO, quite enthusiastic. Er Chiu said, How do I say this, don't know if it's an illusion, but I think your grandma really doesn't like me playing with you. Li Wen nodded in agreement, I think so too. After speaking, Li Wen added, I heard my grandma say that when she was young, your grandma had a very strong personality, she would take control of everything. Upon hearing this, Lin Zhe pondered, Grandma is indeed very special, could it be because of her ordinary motherhood that she didn't see it coming? That's why. Lin Zhe began to explain, on the night of my birthday, I had a dream. I dreamed of a group of people holding a cake and singing but I felt strange, as if they weren't singing for me. In the dream, I remember a very beautiful and gentle woman. I felt that my mother must still be alive somewhere. His three friends were moved to tears upon hearing this. Aze. But the only thing I have left of my mother is a paper crane made from candy wrappers, Lin Zhe continued, Li Wen then said, Aze, speaking of paper cranes, I discovered that those candies were only sold in four places. Tu Sun, Zhong Qing, Yun Jing, and Zhang Hai. Lin Zhe's eyes lit up when he heard this. Thank you. He said, standing up from the ground and getting on his motorcycle. I'll head back now. Hu Biao watched the motorcycle disappear and sighed, sigh, I heard that Lin Madam is looking for a stepmother for him. In reality, he is quite pitiful. Li Wen then had an idea, Hu Biao, isn't your grandmother friends with Aze's grandmother? Why don't you go ask your grandmother about Aze's mother? Hu Biao nodded, All right, all right, his matters are my matters. Definitely cannot let Feng Tianhua become his stepmother. At this moment, Yi Zhua and Zhang Pingding, they jogged together every morning. Well, we've reached the end. Yi Zhua praised. Today you ran very well. Thank you, Zhua Zhua, for accompanying me. After two months of training, I feel that my body has become much lighter. So I'll head back now, continue tomorrow. Bye bye. Who is the person with the luxury car about to come out? It's Lincoln. Yishua heard everyone discussing and was puzzled, why is there such a long car at the apartment gate? The car door opened, six men in black uniforms, wearing sunglasses, stepped out one by one, standing in a line. Then an old lady with silver hair stepped out. Like a moon embracing a star. Seeing the arrival, Yishua was slightly surprised. Mrs. Tsun, Zhua Zhua, I remember you. It's been a few days since we met, but my daughter-in-law is still as beautiful as ever. Mrs. Tsun said arrogantly, I told you that my house has a mine, but you still didn't believe me. Yishua chuckled, okay, now I believe. Yishua thought to himself, this scene is often a case of not having enough money even with a mine. 
Mrs. Tsun turned to speak to the six bodyguards. You all may leave now, yes, hello Madam Yizhua looked surprised, Mrs. Tsun smiled and explained, Shua Shua, you have helped me a lot before, so I want to send a small thank you to you. Please accept this gift. Mrs. Tsun, it's really not necessary, she turned to the bodyguard, deliver it to her house, yes, Shua Shua, which building is your house in? Yizhua sighed, she never listens to what I say, how about Mrs. Tsun comes over to my place for a while? Yizhua suggested, I have other matters to attend to today, but I will visit your house another day. I want to meet my eldest grandson. Would you like to come along? He's really great, I also have important things to do today. So it might not be convenient, Yishua thought to herself, although Mrs. Tsun is very nice, meeting men would slow down my money-making pace, all right then, but you can't treat me as an outsider. Next time, I'll invite you to my house, Mrs. Tsun said. Yishua nodded, yes, ma'am. A while later, Yisun looked at the glittering gifts in front of him, and he asked Yishua in surprise, what's all this? Dear, what's all this about? These things look quite valuable, Yisun asked, surprised. Yishua calmly replied, it's from a lady I know. Uncle Yisun was shocked, what? Who is this lady, that's so impressive? Yishua thought to herself, this time, Sister Sa Sa has been deeply hurt. I need to cheer her up. Seeing the box with the ceremonial dress, Yishua came up with an idea, I know how to help her now. She remembered, in my previous life, I was extremely afraid of the cold, so I invented a material that uses a chip to control temperature. The anniversary party will be in two months, and by then, the temperature in Beijing will drop below zero, very cold. I want to design a dress that can adjust its temperature during that time. Yizhua quickly sketched out a ball gown, and within a few minutes, a perfect dress appeared on the drawing. Meanwhile, Lin Sa Sa returned home, opened her phone, and showed the video Yizhua sent her to her parents. What woman doesn't know how to get pregnant and have children? Does she think she's the only hen in the world that can lay eggs? She's dreaming. After watching the video, even Lin Sa Sa's father, who usually had a good temper, couldn't help but slam the table. The Zhang family is truly outrageous. Zhu Yu Lian cried as she hugged Lin Sa Sa. Don't be afraid, Sa Sa. Tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital with you. Mom, thank you. I thought you would scold me for not knowing how to judge people, you silly child, who hasn't encountered a few scumbags. It's fortunate we have Shua Shua this time. If you really got married, your suffering would have only just begun, there are so many mothers in this world who sacrifice their entire lives for their children without divorcing. Lin Sa Sa was now genuinely scared. Mom, I think it's better to endure short-term pain than long-term agony. Let's go to the hospital quickly, all right, I'll make arrangements. My poor child has to suffer. Zhi Yu Lian said, the next day, Zhi Yu Lian took Lin Sa Sa to the hospital and comforted her, don't be afraid. The surgery will be quick. As the surgical lights turned on, Lin Sa Sa's tears fell. She thought to herself, I'm sorry, baby. If there's a chance, I promise I'll return to you. The moment Lin Sa Sa stepped out of the operating room, she felt like she had been reborn. Sa Sa, you're awake, her parents said. I'm fine, it's not as painful as I imagined, rest for now. I'll go ask the doctor when you can eat, her mother said. Okay, from now on, I will only rely on myself. I won't depend on anyone else, and I definitely won't entrust my entire life to anyone casually, she thought resolutely. Meanwhile, Zhang Quan noticed that Lin Sa Sa hadn't contacted him for several days, which made him a bit scared. He immediately called her but a cold electronic voice answered, the number you have dialed is not reachable. When he logged into WeChat, he found that Lin Sa Sa had blocked him. Realizing something was wrong, he hurried home to find his mother. His mother, however, dismissed the situation. Saying, she's just trying to scare you. Zhang Quan looked at his mother with a skeptical expression, really, of course, she reassured him. You need to stay calm and distant from her for a while, to let her know the rules of our Zhang family. Zhang Quan nodded, all right, I'll listen to you. Feeling relieved by his mother's words, 
Zhang Quan watched her pick up her bag and continue, I have to go out for a while. There are two stores on Baiching Street that want to renovate. Many construction companies are eyeing this lucrative opportunity. Mother had to make the trip herself. When she arrived at Baiching Street, there was still a long line of people waiting outside Yi Xu's restaurant. She was surprised, so there is a good restaurant on Baiching Street, with so many people lining up like this, how much money can be made in a day? Zhang Quan's mother suddenly felt jealous, then she remembered, Yi Group? Could it be that the owner of this restaurant is Yi Xu's mother, Yi Xu's mother? She looked around, then said to the server on the side, Hello, I am the owner of the Zhang Family Repair Company, I am looking for your boss. Oh, our boss is over there, she looked in that direction and was surprised, Yi Xu. It really is her. Her face turned paler by the day, I really didn't expect Yi Xu to be so wealthy. On Yi Xu's side, she said to the builder, then please handle the construction work at the back. Mrs. Yi, the guest is here. Zhang Quan's mother thought, I am about to become Lin Sa Sa's mother-in-law, shouldn't this repair work be entrusted to me? She walked up to Yi Xu and said, Yi Xu, it's fate after all, are you expanding to prepare for opening a new store? Mrs. Zhang Quan? Why is she here? Yi Xu knew what Zhang Quan's family had done, so his expression at this moment was not pretty, he nodded slightly. Mrs. Zhang continued, our company is renovating the stores on this street. Your new store has been handed over to me. Don't worry, I will definitely give you a preferential price. After all, our two families are related. Yi Xu thought to himself, this family is shameless, they have no shame coming to our door. Yi Xu chuckled, I do not know you, madam. Furthermore, my store has already been entrusted to Mr. Ba Xiang of Hengshu Repair Company. Mrs. Zhang continued, Yi Xu, how can we not know each other? I am Sa Sa's future mother-in-law. Yi Xu frowned, Sa Sa has already told you that she and Zhang Quan have broken up, hasn't she? No, that's impossible, Zhang Quan's mother smiled and said, how could Sa Sa break up with my son? His conditions are so good, where else can she find such good conditions? Na na, Yi Xu said loudly, I do not know this madam, please ask her to leave. You, you are too impolite. Despicable. Only Zhang Quan can go find Lin Sa Sa to talk about this, don't even mention this business relationship, then Lin Sa Sa should never dream of marrying into our family. Thinking about this, she no longer worries. Zhang Quan couldn't contact Lin Sa Sa, so he had to go to her house to find her. Lin Sa Sa's parents were out working, and the one who answered the door was Lin Sa Sa. When she saw it was Zhang Quan, Lin Sa Sa showed no expression on her face. Why are you here? Zhang Quan said, Sa Sa, did you block my WeChat and phone number? Yes, Lin Sa Sa continued, Zhang Quan, let's break up. Zhang Quan smiled and said, Sa Sa, stop joking. Besides, my mother is currently very angry. However, she said that if you go to Yi Zhu's house and tell her to transfer their shop to my company for renovation, then she will forgive you. Lin Sa Sa smirked. Does he really think he's someone special? I was so stupid to be with such a scumbag for so many years, it's nauseating. I've had an abortion. Lin Sa Sa continued. Zhang Quan, we no longer have any relationship, what? Zhang Quan's face turned pale. Sa Sa, are you joking? Lin Sa Sa wants to marry into our family so much, how could she be willing to have an abortion? Slap. Lin Sa Sa slapped him across the face. Go home and see what filthy things you and your mother have said. I was blind to ever like you. From now on, we go our separate ways. Even in death, we will not meet again. With that, Lin Sa Sa slammed the door shut. He then realized, Sa Sa isn't joking, she's serious. What should I do now? He was truly scared and, in desperation, went back home and found his mother there. What's wrong with you? Sa Sa said she had an abortion. I blocked her, which made her angry, and then she called security to throw me out, he explained, she had just had a bad experience with Yi Shu, and upon hearing this news, she became even angrier. That wretched girl. That little tramp thinks I'm afraid of her? 
I don't believe Lin Sasa really had an abortion. Don't panic, she's just trying to scare you. You don't need to contact her anymore. When her belly starts showing, she'll come looking for you herself. Hearing that, Zhang Quan felt relieved, okay, I will listen to mom. He thought to himself, it's not wrong, Sa Sa is a traditional woman, she can't bear to destroy our child. Etson Group, Chairman Sin, Ola Madam is here, waiting for you in the living room. Okay, I know. Grandma, why are you here at this hour? Xiao Qing, ha ha, lately, I have been trying to tie a scarf around your neck, let me try it out. Sin Xiaoqing looked up at Mrs. Tsin, Mrs. Tsin took out a scarf with Peppa Pig printed on it from her purse. Do you think this scarf is cute? Sin Xiaoqing also lost his composure, Grandma, you have already made up your mind, haven't you? Mrs. Tsin proudly smiled, he he. My grandson still understands me, put on the Peppa scarf, and your future wife can wear George. These two pigs are perfect for each other. Mrs. Tsun tied the scarf around Sun Xiaoqing's neck, and he helplessly said, Grandma, please stop joking. Li Qian Dong, standing outside the door, couldn't help but burst out laughing, Mrs. Tsun glanced at her grandson. Xiaoqing, don't you want to know how beautiful the wife I've found for you is? I don't, Sun Xiaoqing replied indifferently. He then added, Grandmother, I really have no intention of getting married. In my life, I can only have one true confidant like Yishua, he continued, fiddling with his prayer beads. Marriage is impossible. I will not marry in this lifetime. Mrs. Tsun looked at him angrily, you brat, don't speak so boldly. I'm waiting for the day you eat your words. How did I end up with a grandson like you? Time flew by quickly, and in the blink of an eye, more than a month had passed. Yishua has researched and developed a chip to regulate the temperature for clothes. And has established a technology company ZY, with the main product being temperature-regulating clothes and high-tech smart products. It's time to harvest this technology, the smart computer lights up and says beep beep in front of her. Do you like it too? Then I will design a dress for you, she immediately objected with continuous beep beep beep. Who would want that? Yishua has no intention of taking care of the company, so she is preparing to hire a professional CEO and delegate full authority to the company. Today is the day Mishi met him, the two of them arranged to meet at Makue coffee shop, Yishua went straight to the front of the other person and said, Hello, is Mr. Zhao here? Yishua smiled gently, Hello, I am in charge of ZY Technology Company, and have contacted you. Zhao Yang was surprised, and said, You, you are Mishi? He didn't expect Yishua to be so young, he thought to himself, I thought the person who paid me to be the director would be at least a middle-aged person in their thirties or forties. Zhao Yang pushed up his glasses and said, Sorry, can I see the product first? The product that this girl told me about is already so magical, if I can't see it with my own eyes. It's hard to believe, Yishua gave Zhao Yang a bag I brought a men's shirt here, Mr. Zhao can go to the bathroom to change then go outside to feel a little Zhao Yang took the bag, brought along doubts or went in to change, he frowned slightly this shirt is too ordinary, really nothing special Zhao Yang went outside it's so cool, even though it's a long-sleeved shirt, under the scorching sun, but my whole body still feels very cool he didn't feel the heat as expected. This kind of miracle can't be real, I have to try it again. So he ran to a sauna room at 60 degrees, everyone in the room looked at him and whispered, thinking, is this kid crazy? I really don't feel hot at all. His eyes lit up, so this is really a temperature-adjustable coat, this technology, once released, will be popular worldwide. He immediately ran to the coffee shop Yi Miss, this coat is amazing, from now on I will follow you, Yi Miss Zhao Yang enthusiastically signed the contract, Yi Zhu smiled gently, it's a pleasure to work together, over at Sun Group, Li Qian Dong asked Sun Xiaoqing, are you really not going back to Beijing? Sun Xiaoqing calmly replied, I'm not interested. Our company is sponsoring Dai Mu's three-year anniversary party, so I won't be going, he added. Li Qiandong narrowed his eyes and continued, Fifth brother, I have reliable information that Hidars will also be attending this party. Are you really not going? Fifth brother, I don't want to see how the one who has defeated me multiple times looks like. 
Sun Xiaoqing suddenly stopped rotating the beads in his hand, he looked up and asked, What day did you leave for Beijing? Is this an agreement then? It seems like fifth brother is still concerned about that hit ours. Li Qiandong sighed in his heart, wasn't it said that hit ours cheated? If fifth brother meets him, he may be very disappointed. A moment later, he smiled, but isn't that just perfect? Hit ours will make a good background for Mu Yurong's righteousness, and at that time, the scene will surely be very spectacular. Li Qiandong's ultimate goal is just for Tsin Xiaoqing to see a different Mu Yurong. At this time, Yi Zhu went home and saw Lin Sa Sa, Shua Zhua, are you back? I brought some spicy chicken for you. Just in time, sister, Sa Sa is here, and I have something to tell you. Shua Zhua, do you want to take me to the Daimu Festival? What, you don't have time to go? How can that be, this is a live stream event, I want to go. Shua Zhua, you're really good, but I haven't prepared my clothes yet. Yi Zhua smiled and handed a box, saying, Sa Sa, you can rest assured, your outfit is ready, you can try it on to see if it fits or not. Lin Sa Sa took the dress in surprise and said, Shua Zhua, how did you know I like this color? We are good friends, of course I know, hurry up and try it on. Shua Zhua, you are so thoughtful. Lin Sa Sa changed clothes and walked out, it's really beautiful. A light yellow dress hugged her body, helping to enhance her good figure. Yi Zhua took his phone to take a beautiful picture for Sa Sa, this dress really suits you. Sa Sa, thank you. Shua Zhua, where is your dress? It's okay, my outfit is also ready, we will wear it to Beijing and fight in all directions. After Yi Sun took over the logistics company, based on the equipment and experience, he quickly turned the company's collapsing situation around, bringing it back from the brink of bankruptcy. Shua Zhua, the kids will come to the airport tomorrow, will you drive them there? Yi Sun's phone rang and he told the staff, seize the time to complete the plan, have a meeting. I have something important tomorrow. Yes. Our new boss is so cool. Indeed, have you heard that our boss used to have a girlfriend who was greedy and bad, if she knew that the boss has been promoted, I wonder if she would regret it. At Yi Zhua's house, luggage and clothes for the overseas trip are ready, before departure, turn on the computer and live stream to warm up for the dinner party. This is her first live broadcast after being accused of cheating and being ugly. My dear fans, I'm here. The fans were happy. Yi too, the goddess, is live streaming, we have been waiting for you for so long. A fan asked, Yi too, will you really attend Dai Mu's anniversary party on time? Another fan commented, Yi too, really looking forward to seeing your true self. Some congratulated Yi too for reaching 20 million fans. So my fans have increased to 20 million, huh? Mu Yurong splashed dirty water on me, but actually helped me. Yi Zhua assured the fan, don't worry, I never lie. I will arrive on time to the third anniversary celebration. Fans in sight and say, Yi too, you must be really beautiful, while Mu Yurong's fans scold her as a cheating dog, truly shameless. If you are really beautiful, why do you still need to cover up like that? Our Rong Rong is the most beautiful. Regarding cheating, I don't want to explain it again, only the pure are truly pure. The specific situation everyone can pay attention to is the result of the competition between me and Miss Rong Rong at the three-year anniversary party. Yi Zhua's fans praise, you are really strong, I support you. Yi too, we will always support you, another fan says. Those who intentionally cause trouble, please calm down. Yi too has said she will attend Dai Mu's anniversary party. Do you all have no eyes, at this point, on the computer? He received a challenge invitation Idol Residence Challenge you, do you accept the challenge? Yi Zhua frowned slightly, this man is really not submissive, this man will not give up until he reaches the Milky Way, so before you start, play another game with him Yi Zhua clicked on Opponent Accept Challenge. On this side, Sun Xiaoqing looked at the computer screen Hidars agreed to play since the match began, I have always paid attention to the situation on the chessboard. Before making a move I would think for a few minutes, after determining that there are no new problems, I dared to make a move. But even so, I still stepped into the trap set by this person step by step. 
On this side, Yishua saw it's time for offline now, castling the queen, causing the opponent to lose, despite losing many games in a row, but Sun Shaoqing was not discouraged, but still very excited, the opponent's art is really high, if possible I really want to meet this hit ours to exchange, evaluate the playing style. This is really great. The next morning, Yi Sun took Yi Zhua and Lin, Sa Sa, to the airport. Thank you Zhuo Zhuo, and you too, have fun, Sa Sa will take care of Zhuo Zhuo more, Lin Sa Sa was surprised, is this Zhuo Zhuo's cousin? Where is the silly look from before? Sa Sa turned and smiled, your cousin doesn't look the same as before, worried that he would deceive the two girls, Yi Sun kept talking incessantly. Remember to lock the hotel door carefully, don't open the door for strangers. Shua Shua must call you when he arrives. I understand, why are you like an old man, you have repeated this sentence ten times already. Okay, don't bother us playing anymore, you go. Lin Sa Sa smiled and said, Shua Shua, I didn't realize before that your brother is so cute. Yes, he is actually a very good person, let's go, go check in for the flight. After boarding the plane, the loud crying of a child echoed in the air, all passengers on the plane looked towards the source of the sound, it was a young couple, the husband was holding and comforting the child, the wife blushing said, sorry everyone. The child choked on food just now. At this time, the crying of the child suddenly stopped, the husband said, look, wife, Bao Bao is not okay. Bao Bao, what's wrong with you? If you need to vomit the food out, do it freely. Husband, why is Bao Bao's face so pale? Bao Bao is not moving anymore, what should we do? At this moment, a clear voice resounded in the air, I know medicine, quickly give the child to me. They looked up and saw a girl around 18 years old, and people around started discussing, a young girl like her, does she really know medicine? A mother, without thinking much, quickly handed the child to Yi Shua, rather than watching her child die, you are a doctor, please. I beg you to save my child. Other passengers on the plane were also stunned. Is this young girl really knowledgeable in medicine? This is ridiculous. This is not a joke. The poor boy seems to be barely two years old. If there is a new disease, look for a doctor. Can the child be saved if something happens to the child? I can't live anymore. Yi Zhuo gently nodded to reassure her. Don't panic. We can save him. She hugged the child and sat down placing the child on her lap. First, Yishua pressed a few key points on the child's body, then lightly patted the child's back. At this moment, the child suddenly vomited, and the child, who was near death, began to cry loudly. His complexion has also improved, the child is probably fine now. My baby is fine now, doesn't look like it, but she's been saved, the couple looked excitedly at Yishua. Thank you so much, little savior. What is your name? We must thank you properly, Yijua said. It's just a small matter. This little one must have been born prematurely, right? The mother nodded quickly. The little one was born premature. She's only seven months old, Yijua continued. Premature babies are fragile. It's best not to eat seafood and remember to keep her warm normally. Dot. At the same time, in the cabin, there was also applause like thunder. Oh Lord, that's wonderful. It's incredible. If you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, who could believe that a girl could have such courage? Sometimes age does not equal strength. This scene was witnessed by a man who then went back to the first-class cabin, Mr. Yang, the financial tycoon of Zhonghua. The old man's face was very sad as he leaned back in his seat, resting. He asked, Fun Yen, what was all the noise in the cabin just now? Fun Yen reported, just now in the passenger cabin. He lowered his voice and recounted the recent events in the cabin to the old man. After listening, he doubted, that girl is so talented, huh? Old man, that little girl's medical skills are extremely good, or invite her over here for you to see, your illness is very strange, when it flares up, the pain is unbearable. If it continues like this, even a young man cannot survive for long. If that girl can save you, it would be great. Mr. Yang waved his hand and said, I know my own body, my illness is incurable, fundamentally impossible to treat, the old man laughed and said, Fun Yen, I am already old, everyone has to die, nothing to worry about, although the old man said so, but who doesn't want to live well, 
especially when the old man has a very important wish that has not been fulfilled in the atmosphere with only a sigh of disappointment left. Not long after, the plane arrived at Beijing Airport, Li Qiandong pointed forward, fifth brother, isn't that Mr. Yang? Hearing that, Sun Xiaoqing casually looked towards the crowd descending at the airport, behind Mr. Yang were two young girls. A figure without makeup but her beauty is very elegant and outstanding, Sun Xiaoqing exclaimed, isn't that Yi Zhua? Sun Xiaoqing, seeing Yi Zhua, was surprised, why is she here? Mr. Yang looked up and saw a man in his thirties, with a cold and handsome face, saying, Mr. Tsun, Sun Xiaoqing, what a coincidence meeting here. Sun Xiaoqing adjusted her bead necklace and said, Mr. Yang, you are the senior, calling me by name is fine. Mr. Yang, hearing this, looked even more admiringly at Sun Xiaoqing, you don't need to be so humble, your reputation can bear the position of this Sun Xiaoqing. Although still young, he has already achieved fame, currently the Sun family in Huagua is a force to be reckoned with. Back then when I was still young, now I already bear the title of fifth master Tsun. Whenever you are free, you can come to my place for tea, the two exchanged a few cheerful words, before saying goodbye to each other. After Mr. Yang left, Li Qiandong came in front of Sun Xiaoqing, took a deep breath and said, I heard that Mr. Boss Yang of the Yang family is seriously ill and doesn't have much time left to live. Before, I thought it was just a rumor, I didn't expect it to be true. The Yang family is the first family among the top 10 wealthy families in Beijing. Back then, Mr. Yang was also a legendary figure, but unfortunately this hero is now old, I wonder how many people are waiting for Mr. Yang to fall down. It seems that the Yang family is about to change. Sun Xiaoqing did not answer, let's go Li Qiandong asked in surprise fifth brother, are you going back like this? Why go to the airport? Only to hear Sun Xiaoqing echo call the driver waiting outside the airport gate, Li Qiandong was shocked, do you want to pick up some mysterious guests? Li Qiandong looked around, amazed, and said. Master, you're here. Hearing that, Yi Zhuo raised his eyes slightly and smiled politely greeted, Mr. Li, Mr. Si Yin. Li Qiandong was very excited when he saw Yi Zhuo, Master, why are you here? Who is this? Sun Xiaoqing nodded slightly, Miss Yi. Yi Xue briefly said, I'm here on business, this is my close friend, Lin Sa Sa. Miss Sa Sa, this is Mr. Tsun and Mr. Li Lin Sa Sa hastily replied, Hello, you too. Lin Sa Sa was extremely surprised, Oh my goodness, two handsome men, especially the one with black hair, too tall, probably around 1 M95, impeccably dressed with no flaws. Sun Xiaoqing calmly said, our driver is here to pick us up, if he miss doesn't mind, he can take you with us. Li Qiandong continued, great master, this is your first time here, right? Let's go, today I will host and take you around for fun, you can also get acquainted with the situation here, Lin Sa Sa admires Shua Shua in her heart, Shua Shua is really gentle, the shipping is done. Five minutes later, a luxurious long version of the Lincoln car stopped in front of the crowd. Everyone around looked amazed at the car, even Lin Sa Sa felt dizzy, the upgraded version of Lincoln, am I dreaming? Traffic in the capital was congested, it was very difficult to catch a taxi, even calling online taxis had to be booked in advance. Because there was a car available, Yi Zhuo did not refuse. Sun Xiaoqing politely opened the car door and carefully covered the roof of the car before inviting Yi Zhuo up. He did not forget to say, be careful of your head, and, thank you. Yi Zhuo and Lin Sa Sa got into the car. Seeing this, Li Qiandong was shocked, how can fifth brother open the car door for Yi Zhuo? This is the first time I've seen fifth brother show such concern for a woman. Yi Zhuo is the first woman to get into fifth brother car. Lin Sa Sa felt like she was dreaming. She had only seen this type of car on TV before, but today she not only saw it but also sat in it. Zhuo Zhuo, you are amazing, you can handle people like them. Yi Zhuo replied, just collaborating in business at the moment. A deep voice suddenly appeared in the car, Miss Yi, which hotel are you staying at? Perhaps due to year-round worshipping, there was a faint scent of sandalwood on Sun Xiaoqing. We have booked the Tanshiji Huihuang Hotel, 
at 1788, by Ching Street. Got it, Sun Xiaoqing nodded gently and then instructed the driver, go to Tan Shiji Hui Huang Hotel. The driver was slightly surprised. The uncontrollable gaze turned towards the rearview mirror, he thought even though he's a young master, he talks to women. He must think that he only talks to bodhisattvas. After a while, the car arrived, Sun Xiaoqing got out of the car and opened the door. Yishua took the initiative to say thank you, thank you, Mr. C. N. Mishi is too polite, replied Sun Xiaoqing. Yishua continued, I'll treat you to a meal when I have time. He replied, sure, just let me know. Yishua was taken aback, I was just saying it casually, I didn't expect Sun Xiaoqing to agree. Aren't important people like him usually busy? Sun Xiaoqing raised her eyebrows as she thought, her behavior towards me is really unusual. Let's see. Sun Xiaoqing calmly looked at Yishua and said, Are you free this Saturday evening? What time on Saturday evening? Yishua asked clearly, Why do I feel like I'm hitting my foot with a stone? Sun Xiaoqing smiled and said, All right, let's meet then, I'll message you on WeChat. Yishua nodded slightly. Yishua didn't want to have too much contact with Sun Xiaoqing, but now he found it hard to resist. After Sun Xiaoqing and Li Qiandong left, Lin Sa Sa hurriedly asked Yishua, Xua Xua, Mr. Tsun is so good, why do you avoid him? Yishua sighed, because he is so talented, I don't want any romantic involvement with him. Lin Sa Sa continued, Do you feel like Mr. Tsun has feelings for you? Furthermore, I feel like Xua Xua and Mr. Tsun are a perfect match, handsome man and beautiful woman, the more you look, the more pleasing to the eye. Yishua calmly said, don't misunderstand, Mr. Tsun is a vegetarian all year round, moreover, he has no intention of getting married. Lin Sa Sa asked in surprise, is that true? Real or fake? If he's not getting married, then can he be a vegetarian? Lin Sa Sa thought to herself. Isn't he a monk? This can't be right. Yishua comforted Sa Sa, nothing is impossible you can still live without eating vegetarian food. Li Qiandong and Sun Xiaoqing returned to the car, I didn't expect to meet a great deity here. Fifth brother, you are very good to the great deity, how do you feel about the great deity? Sun Xiaoqing held the phone and said, send me Hitar's livestream number. Li Qiandong furrowed his brows and said, fifth brother, do you suspect that the deity and Hitar's are the same person? Sun Xiaoqing said nothing, Li Qiandong continued, they can't be the same person, you see the deity doing tasks on the tech website every day, how could he have time for live streaming? Moreover, Hidars is just a scammer, how could he be like the deity, completely impossible. Sun Xiaoqing raised his eyebrows slightly, directly cutting off Li Qiandong's unfinished words, she did not cheat I have played chess with her for too long, from her chess style. It can be seen that she is not the kind of person who cheats, Sun Xiaoqing's eyes were slightly red. With a hint of impatience, give me the live stream number, Li Qiandong dared not say anything more, immediately sending the Hidar's live streaming account to him, that's right fifth brother, tonight you can play chess with Mu Miss, she is very skilled, Sun Xiaoqing lazily replied, is she worthy? Li Qiandong sighed. If it weren't for fifth brother's silver tongue, we would have taken the beauty back long ago. At a luxurious hotel, Yurong Miss, your dress has been prepared here. Mu Yurong is choosing a dress to attend the party, she said, find the best makeup artist here, I want to do makeup. I want to amaze everyone at the party, especially Tsun Xiaoqing. Over at Yi Zhuo's hotel, Lin Sa Sa and Yi Zhuo are walking back from the streets, Lin Sa Sa is tired and lies down on the bed to catch her breath, Lin Sa Sa turns over and asks, Shua Zhuo. Have you prepared the dress I will wear for tomorrow's activity? I'm very curious about how I will dress. Yishua pointed forward, I hung it in the wardrobe. That set. Lin Sa Sa looked at the wardrobe in awe. Time passed quickly, and before they knew it, it was the evening of the next day, Dai Mu's three-year anniversary party was grand. There were reporters present to take photos, all eager for the latest news. Mu Yurong arrived neither early nor late. Wow, who is that? Is that Mu Yurong? Mu Yurong dressed up for the occasion, wearing a limited edition dress worth millions of dollars. 
On the head of the crown, long hair flowing over the shoulders, the face is meticulously made up to make others pale in comparison. The photographer quickly takes wow shots. Wow, she's so beautiful. She looks really beautiful. She looks really beautiful, looking at the jealous glances of everyone around. Mu Yurong slightly curled her lips I was born to be the most brilliant existence, how can these vulgar fans compare to me? Seeing Mu Yurong, Du Rua ran up to her, you're finally here, everyone has been waiting for you, let's go. Mr. Lu is over there, let me introduce you two to each other, upon hearing that, Mu Yurong's face turned slightly red it's better not to, Lu and I are not familiar with each other, Du Rua continued, making acquaintance shouldn't be more difficult than being friendly. Just now sister mentioned you to Mr. Lee. He is very interested in you. Mu Yurong reluctantly followed Du Rua to the auditorium. Li Qian Dong stood there. Mr. Lo, manager Du. Mu Yurong lifted her head and followed Du Rua to Li Qian Dong's side. Du Rua took the initiative to introduce. Mr. Lee, this is Mu Yurong, the Miss Muck I told you about. Mu Yurong quickly glanced at the man sitting behind Li Qian Dong, who was praying with a string of beads in his hand and crossing his long legs. The dim light made it hard to see his face clearly, but Mu Yurong immediately recognized him as Tsin Xiaoqing. She knew Tsin Xiaoqing would definitely come to this party. Tsin Xiaoqing, you fell in love with me at first sight, didn't you? It won't be long before you start pursuing me, Li Qian Dong called her several times before she finally woke up, raised her head and greeted Li Qian Dong. Ms. Muck, I have admired you for a long time, your chess skills are at the top of the foundation. Mu Yurong blushed and said shyly, I am just a useless person, not long ago I lost to Hidars, a newcomer at the same level as us. Li Qian Dong said, Hidars is cheating, it cannot be considered the winner. Mu Yurong humbly replied, This mountain is high, there are higher mountains, this person is good, there are others better. So it's very normal for me to lose. Li Qian Dong looked at Mu Yurong with admiration. She is truly humble, truly kind, even now she is still speaking up for those who deceive, kind girls like her are rare in today's society. Li Qian Dong looked at Mu Yurong with determination. A girl like this must definitely be paired with fifth brother. In Mu Yurong's eyes, there was a satisfied look as she looked at Li Qian Dong's face. I know he's been fascinated by me, it's a pity Li Qian Dong can't compare to Tsin Xiaoqing, a stepping stone may just be a stepping stone. Du Rua spoke up, Yurong. You are too modest. Hidars is too scared to show her face, why would she dare to play chess with you on the same stage? It's almost time for the live broadcast, but Hidar still hasn't arrived, it's not just a guilty conscience, what could it be? Mu Yurong said, maybe she is stuck in traffic. At this moment, Du Rua looked at the clock, never mind her. Yurong. It's almost time for the red carpet, let's go to the other side. Sisters are discussing, have you seen Mu Yuro recently? Yes, I have, she looks very beautiful, and her dress is also a high-end design of this year, isn't it? It's really remarkable. That's right. Has Hidars arrived yet? I haven't seen anyone resembling Hidars around here, for a long time. Ha ha, cheats don't dare to come here. At this moment, a black car stops in front of the door, the waiter looks and thinks, there's a new guest coming, he wants to invite in, but he sees the guest walking straight into the ceremony, the red carpet officially begins, the host stands on the stage holding a microphone in hand, the first person is a streamer who traveled wearing a big fish costume. Next, let's welcome our outstanding female streamer of the year, Yurong. Mu Yurong stroked her long hair towards the red carpet. What a beautiful face Rong Rong is so beautiful, her appearance stands out Rong Rong is in the spotlight why can't I see any cheating? Don't worry, there will be no cheating, cheaters dare not come Mu Yurong stepped onto the stage to sign on the advertisement. Take a photo and stand on stage waiting for Hidars, after all, she and Hidars still have a battle with each other it's time now, still can't see Hitar's shadow Mu Yurong sarcastically said, she definitely won't show up. Maybe Hidars is just a bad and poor person. Next up is the new female streamer that everyone is looking forward to. Her name is Hidars. She has challenged Yurong directly. For this reason, our platform has prepared a chessboard for the two streamers. Not sure if we will have the honor of watching them compete live. Now I invite Hidars. 
The host said a final word, the red carpet fell into silence, she's here, why can't I see her? The audience watching the live stream also commented. Where is the cheater, why hasn't she arrived yet? I knew it, the cheater doesn't have the guts to come, the ugly one doesn't dare to come into the light, really disgusting. After waiting for a few tens of seconds, there was still no movement on the other side of the red carpet. The host holding the microphone said, it's a shame, it looks like our new streamer hit ours will be absent tonight. Before the host could finish the sentence, a voice interrupted, saying, wait a moment, we just received news that Miss Hidars has arrived. Hidars has arrived? So late, it must have taken a lot of effort to do makeup for her ugly face. Finally, we can see Hidars' true appearance, I've been curious for so long. On this side, Li Qian Dong was also surprised, Hidars has arrived? Why not just stay home and pretend to be sick, if your own loses later? It will be really embarrassing. Sun Xiaoqing calmly said, You will soon know who is the one losing face. You said your own will lose? It's impossible. Absolutely impossible. Just talking about appearance, your own has already won. Then who do you think will win? Li Qiandong snorted, It's not just a cheater, don't believe. Suddenly the atmosphere became noisy, they're here, here they come, the sound of high heels echoed hearing that everyone looked towards the other end of the red carpet. Immediately saw a tall figure walking against the light, the atmosphere was silent, everyone's eyes turned towards the entrance, everyone was very curious to see what Hidars looked like, whether she was ugly or not, everyone foolishly watched this approaching figure, Li Qian Dong thought this figure seems very beautiful, Mu Yurong only looked at the figure getting closer day by day, is this Hidars? How can I feel a bit familiar with this figure of Hidars? The sound of high heels echoed rhythmically, as the figure got closer, the facial features gradually appeared in the air, Mu Yurong looked at that face, her eyes wide open and suddenly exclaimed, why is it her? Why is it her? Is that Yijua, Yijua, is it ours? A crisp female voice rang out, I'm sorry I'm late. Yijua wore a glamorous red off-the-shoulder dress, revealing her fair shoulders and delicate collarbones. The live broadcast captured a face that could charm all living beings, Yijua exuded a strong presence facing the audience and multiple cameras, her face showing no trace of fear on stage. The audience commented in the live stream, is this the person who cheated? So beautiful, the streamer's face is really beautiful, and those long legs too. Ah, is this my Yi too? So beautiful. Yi too is so cool. Sun Xiaoqing's mouth slightly curved up, it really is her. Sun Xiaoqing twirled the prayer beads, his deep eyes like ink, making it hard to guess what he was thinking. Li Qian Dong was immediately stunned, staring blankly at Yi Zhua, his face full of doubt, even rubbing his eyes several times, afraid that he was seeing things wrong, I didn't expect the great god to actually be hit ours. Sun Xiaoqing both turned the bead chain and glanced at him, didn't you say she is a fraud? Li Qian Dong eagerly swallowed saliva. That, that's because you don't know that she is a big shot. That's why fifth brother, you always say she is not cheating. Did you already know? With the IQ of a big shot, surely there's no need to cheat. Mu Yurong looked at that face, pupils gradually dilated, Hidars turned out to be Yi Zhua. Suddenly Mu Yurong had a terrible thought, could it be, could it be that Yi Zhua has been reborn? If not, how could she have become so formidable? But Yishua was just a waste in her past life, even if she were to live again, she wouldn't be able to do anything. Could it be that Yishua also has a system? If she also has a system, how could I defeat her? So Mu Yurong thought and asked the system what happened to Yishua? The host does not need to worry, I just scanned Yishua, she doesn't have any system on her body, Mu Yurong sighed lightly, confidence returning to her face. No system is good, looking beautiful is okay. Can't erase the identity of deception, still being used by me, Mu Yurong, to crush like before. Master, rest assured, I have set up for her top level chess skills, she will absolutely not lose. Then it's good. Mu Yurong smiled. I have top chess skills, thanks to the gifted system, Yishua is always a nuisance to me. Today I have to use my top chess skills to make Yishua reveal his true self. 
Yishua steps onto the stage to apologize to the host, sorry, I'm late, I just heard something just now. The host on stage looks surprised at Yishua, I've been working for six years, meeting countless hosts and artists, but I've never seen anyone as beautiful as her. Moreover, she's not only beautiful, but also has an amazing aura. Seeing that the host did not reply, Yishua called her, at this point she just shyly smiled, ha ha, you are so beautiful, I am mesmerized and forgot my words, viewers commented in the live stream, don't say she's the host. I am mesmerized too my cat looked at her so intensely that it fell from the shelf to bring the cat down here, is there really a beautiful girl like that in the world, not a fictional character, brother, your imagination is also rich, the host continued to introduce, this is your own, the best female streamer of the year. Earlier, the two of them had agreed to have another match at the party, do you still remember? Yishua nodded slightly, I certainly remember clearly, the host continued. I wonder if we'll be lucky enough to see the chess match between the two of them today. I see that the audience on the screen is eagerly anticipating it. I don't have a problem, Yishua raised his eyes slightly in doubt, I wonder if it will cause inconvenience to Yurong. Mu Yurong smiled friendly at Yishua, I don't have any issues either, while silently cursing this opportunist, daring to compete with me, I could make her die at any moment and not even know, both of you please come here, the host gestured to invite the two and led them to the chess table already set up in front of them. Mu Yurong said, I have been exposed to chess from a very early age, let Hidar's miss go first. They say the first move is the strongest, it's the same in chess, whoever goes first will have the advantage, Yijua smiled gently, politely saying, thank you but I have never needed anyone to step aside for me netizens watching the livestream commented, such a big attitude, not even needing anyone to step aside, is this how you talk to your seniors? Yeast cheating dogs have thick faces. Rong Rong tries to crush the cheating dogs Yi too is really a beautiful girl are you too does not need to give way, who does not know that the one who goes first will have the advantage, a certain streamer is truly shameless and scheming the analysis above is correct. If he too takes the lead and wins, surely there will be someone shameless who will say that she gave in hearing that Mu Yurong said if so, I will not be polite. If I lose then please do not cry and act without conscience, Mu. Yurong thought, in this game, I must expose Yishua's cheating, so that she will never be able to hold her head up again. Yishua glanced up slightly and said. Still the same old talk, I invite you to go first. If I win, I hope to hear an apology from you, Yurong, regarding the cheating rumors. Mu Yurong's face lit up with excitement, how could you win against me? I have added enhancements to my system, what could she possibly do to beat me? She is really confident. Mu Yurong nodded, if you lose, I also hope that you, Hidars, can actively admit your mistakes. Never cheat again in the future netizens watched the livestream commenting, Rong Rong is right. She should not only proactively admit her mistakes, but also apologize to Rong Rong. Rong Rong should deal with cheaters like that. Our Rong Rong is number one, if someone loses, don't play the victim and pretend to be pitiful. After both sides completed placing their bets, the match began. Yishua smiled, let me see what familiar tactics like this mean, what is behind it in the end. With the help of the system, Mu Yurong takes steps on the chessboard, with Yishua closely following behind her. Mu Yurong captures one of Yishua's pieces, prompting Yishua to raise his head slightly and remark. Mu Yurong's moves on the chessboard are becoming more and more familiar, like the chess chip system I created for Sai in the past. I really enjoy playing chess, in a previous life, I created a chess chip to record my own moves, analyze my own chess moves and think about how to overcome myself. Yishua thinks if it is really a chess piece, the next move will be to move the cannon from column 2 to column 5 at this time the system on Mu Yurong's side reminds Yurong move the cannon from column 2 to column 5 Yishua calmly plays chess. She thinks next the chess piece will advance to row 3 from row 2 the system on Mu Yurong's side continues to instruct her the knight in row 2 advances to row 3 and captures the chess piece in less than 3 minutes. Mu Yurong has captured five chess pieces, taking the upper hand, while Yishua has not captured any, the chess moves seem not to be wise, Mu Yurong smiled at Yishua, Hidar's young lady, didn't perform well today, did she? This level is indeed rubbish, Yishua looked up at Mu Yurong, with hidden meaning, she has a problem. 
She must have some relationship with the Psi system, Mu Yurong smiled at Yi Xue, the victory has been decided, I think there's no need to continue, right? If we keep fighting, it's just a waste of time, Yi Xue slowly stopped, calmly saying, it's not over yet, why rush? Mu Yurong smiled and said, if you are determined like that, I will play with you until the end. But even if you play until the end, you cannot change the outcome. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes, I hope you will be a good person in the future, don't cheat anymore. Netizens watching the livestream commented, Rong Rong is so powerful, I love watching Rong Rong pressure opponents, the cheater never dies, if you lose, just accept it, what is the point of wasting time? Don't you know that our time is precious? Under the audience seats, Li Qian Dong only stared at the chessboard on the big screen in amazement, saying, Mu Miss is too powerful. This attack move even makes people who don't understand chess like me excited. Sun Xiaoqing is focused on the big screen, smiling faintly, talking about Mu Yurong, taking another piece from Yi Xue. Mu Yurong looks pleased, facing my strong attack, Yi Xue couldn't handle a single move. Li Qian Dong can't explain his feelings. The great master is about to lose, the game is completely lost now. Could it be that the great master actually cheated? Yi Xue's actions really disappointed him. A deep voice next to him said, she didn't cheat. Hearing this, Li Qian Dong turned to look at Sun Xiaoqing and sighed, helplessly, fifth brother. Sun Xiaoqing continued to stare at the screen and said meaningfully, moreover, she won't lose. Mu Yurong looked down on Yi Xue and added another confident chess piece, do you really think you can win like this? I have a system, what do you have that can beat me? What system? Why don't you tell me what to do next? The system notified, a chess move that has not been entered into the system. Has been checked, cannot be processed. The system calculated the next move, after a moment of thought the system reported, the second row of pawns moved back to the third row. At this moment, a clear voice rang out in the air, General, the predecessor has already yielded this is called a strong counterattack. The atmosphere became chaotic, what's going on, why is everything suddenly reversed, Li Qian Dong couldn't help, but curse, damn it, I feel like I was slapped hard in the face, obviously the soldiers of the great god were defeated, only left with a car that can cross the river. While Mu Yurong's side still has a lot of troops, how did they lose, this is really unusual. If I don't see it with my own eyes, I will never believe it is true Mu Yurong's face immediately turned pale, looking at the result in front of her her back dripping with layers of cold sweat, Sun Xiaoqing focused on the large screen, her moves are still the same as before, seemingly playing normally, but in reality, every step is a hidden trap. Mu Yurong seems to have the upper hand, but she has fallen into Yi Xue's trap before. Li Qiandong turned to look at Sun Xiaoqing, you still can't see it, why did Miss Yurong suddenly lose? Sun Xiaoqing's voice was slightly weak, this is called turning a blind eye, Chess is not about winning by capturing many pieces. About strategy and intelligence, the chess style of these two people is clearly not at the same level, Mu Yurong's chessboard is like a machine. She doesn't know how to adapt, just focuses on capturing pieces, without realizing that the opponent has already infiltrated. Yi Xue is like a tiger, patiently waiting for the prey to come closer, until finally striking with one blow. Underneath the audience's seats, there is still lively discussion, how did Hit Ars win like that, I don't understand watching it, but I feel very awesome, playing chess at the summit, I thought for sure Hit Ars would lose, turns out it's because of my low-level skills. Livestream audience also commented. Yi too is amazing, I'm so excited. Wow, winning in a VIP style. That person was so arrogant earlier, now getting slapped in the face by my Yi too, does it hurt? Ever since Yi too was new, I've liked her. Watching her rise to hot search, then being suspected of cheating, and then fighting back, using her real power to crush your own. She is amazing, I am proud to be her fan. Mu Yurong's face turned pale, she couldn't understand why is this happening? I have a support system, I have high-level chess skills, how can Yishua win? System, what is going on? Why did Yishua defeat me, didn't you say that no one is my match? The system went into chaos I have always been invincible, this is the first time I have been defeated. 
When I was revived, I felt lucky already, who would have thought I would have an additional system to help me. With the system, I can have many skills, and even change the appearance of different main characters, the skills can also mesmerize others, all thanks to the system, she was puzzled. But why did it lose its effectiveness in front of Yijua? Yijua, what did you do, how could I lose? Yijua smiled coldly, I don't even know why I lost, indeed. Muyurong angrily asked, what do you mean by that? Seconds later, Yishua approached Muyurong and whispered a sentence. Of course, the chess game was not played by you yourself, huh? Muyurong was surprised, but still calmly asked, you won, because you are skilled, but why did you say that? Yishua coldly said, Muyurong, you have a system, your chess moves are decided by it. Muyurong turned pale with fear, her heart pounding frantically, how, how does she know? System, what is going on? How can she know your existence? System warning, there have been many abnormalities in the system, the system has been downgraded to level 1. Retrieving the chess playing skills of the host, beauty skills level 5, skills of enchanting everyone's gaze, beep beep, hearing the cold voice of the system, Mu Yurong almost collapsed. Holding her face in her hands, everything is being revoked? No, what should I do now? Yijua, this wretched person. Internet users commented on the live stream, why all of a sudden I feel like Yurong is not as beautiful as before. That's right, it's not just you feeling that way, I feel like she's missing something. I also see that, she suddenly looks worse, standing next to Yijua looks exactly like a background, what's going on, Yurong was shining brightly earlier, but why does she look so ordinary now? Not only the online community feels that Mu Yurong has become ugly, but everyone present at the scene also feels that Mu Yurong has changed a lot, that feeling is like a bright star losing its light, they no longer feel jealous or amazed, as if they are looking at an ordinary person, Li Qian Dong lightly furrowed his brow, feeling very strange in his heart, so he said to Tsin Shaoqing, clearly, I used to admire Mu Yurong a lot, but now when I look at her again, I no longer feel the same. Sense of awe as before. Sun Xiaoqing also did not expect to see this scene so interesting. As soon as Yijua finished speaking, her expression immediately changed everyone's eyes seemed to pierce Mu Yurong like a knife, from one person to another, Mu Yurong wished she could find a crack in the ground to hide in, Yijua also closely observed Mu Yurong's face it has changed, Yijua suddenly remembered I've seen someone like this before, give it back to me, give it back now, give me back my perfect life. Chairman Yi this is the first time we have successfully blocked the perfect human life, it seems that the day we find its weakness is not far away. A man angrily rushed toward Jijua, shouting, You, you stole my perfect life, I must kill you. Chairman Yi, be careful. As he approached, Jijua kicked him. Why are you ruining my life? Can't I have a better life? The better life you're talking about involves using three-dimensional nanotechnology to create a fake appearance and then deceiving others' feelings? You are a swindler and a thief. Hand him over to the economic court for processing. Understood. At that time, I thought that as long as I hadn't dealt with perfect life, my work would never be complete. Perfect life is built on the happiness of others, and I must destroy it. Seeing the computer appear in midair, Yishua curiously asked, why did the cognitive computer suddenly appear? Is it upgrading? The virtual machine has been upgraded. Upon careful consideration, the upgrading and appearance are all related to defeating Mu Yurong. No, to be exact, it is the moment when I attack the perfect human system. My transmigration is not random, I do not need to know why the perfect human system appeared in the past, but dealing with it is my mission. So Yishua smiled and said, it seems that your system is no longer effective. Mu Yurong was frightened in her heart, but she still tried to argue, what system, I don't know. Even if you win, you can't say random things like that. Fine, then let me say something you understand. If you have lost, you should fulfill your promise, quick. Apologize, duh. Mu Yurong clenched her lips, her heart filled with dissatisfaction, silently cursing herself as a wretch, but now Mu Yurong could only bravely stand up and say to Yi Shua, I'm really sorry, I misunderstood you before, you didn't cheat. 
Yishua smiled faintly, you must know that once you're labeled a cheater, you'll have to face the consequences. I hope next time when senior loses, don't falsely accuse others of cheating again. Mu Yurong gritted her teeth in anger, trembling with humiliation. This is too shameful, I will remember this, and I will definitely get revenge. The loser tonight should be her, she's the one who stole my things. Alright, it was just a misunderstanding. Rong Rong has already apologized to you, Hidar should also be kind, you should be a little more gentle. Du Rua couldn't bear it anymore, so she stood up for Mu Yurong, she thinks that Yishua is taking advantage of her situation, netizens commented, do miss of Daimu company, I think this director is very cunning, all the bad words are from her mouth, Yi Tu must be very angry instead of Yi Tu Yishua tilted her head, her eyes full of coldness, I was just stabbed. Blood hasn't even stopped flowing, and you're telling me to be kind. Manager Du hasn't experienced other circumstances, so don't advise others to be kind fans are not happy, commenting, facing such attacks and vilifications, if it were someone else, they probably couldn't bear it. This person has never experienced the suffering of our Yi too, so why should our Yi too be compassionate? I have to say, this line is brilliant, I'm becoming a fan now, Du Rua's face turned pale. I originally thought that after saying this, public opinion would favor me and Rong Rong, but unexpectedly, just one sentence from Yishua shattered my image. Yishua was chatting with other girls there, and everyone originally thought that Yishua, being so beautiful and good at chess, must be very aloof like Mu Yurong. Unexpectedly, Yishua was so easygoing. Great deity, she is both strong and beautiful, just like a queen. She's really talented, can we make a video together, Yi too? Where did you buy this beautiful evening gown? Is it a designer model? Yishua said, my dress is not only beautiful in design, but also has a very special function, it can adjust the temperature. Adjust the temperature, everyone looked incredulous, Yishua nodded slightly and began to introduce dresses that can adjust the temperature to everyone. Seeing that no one believed, Yishua lifted the hem of the dress revealing a charming white leg. Touching this fabric will know everyone can't believe touching the skirt fur, a long-haired girl watches Yishua alertly, Yi too, can I touch your hand? Yishua nodded slightly, her hand is so warm, they all wear thin skirts and feel cold, but Yishua's hand is warm like that, everyone believes what Yishua said is true, her skirt really adjusts the temperature, it's really warm, wearing it must be very comfortable, Yi too, where did you buy it, I want to buy a set so I won't worry about feeling cold on the red carpet anymore, I want to buy it too, I'm very afraid of the cold, with this dress it's really so happy always, I also want to buy. Yishua said, let's form a group. I will send everyone their website addresses later. But all dresses must be ordered in advance. Muyurong used to be a beautiful existence, but suddenly she went from a noble phoenix to a common chicken, no one cared about her, making her unable to adapt as if wherever she stood she could see the mocking eyes of everyone. Have you seen Yurong over there? Not that pretty, her skin is very yellow. I thought tonight I could shine and Sun Xiaoqing would love me, but in the end everything was taken away by Yishua. Sure enough, as long as she's around, I will always fail. I must kill her to avenge my humiliation, Mu Yurong's face showed a trace of resentment as she looked at Yishua on the other side. Three hours later, the MC announced, the anniversary party of Dai Mu has come to an end. Thank you, everyone. People started leaving one by one. Yishua also went to the audience area. Lin Sa Sa excitedly said, today, Shua Shua was really cool, so beautiful, defeating Mu Yurong, completely. This even made Lin Sa Sa very interested in Chinese chess. Lin Sa Sa surprised said, originally I thought Mu Yurong was very beautiful, but suddenly today I feel she is only slightly prettier than an ordinary person. It's so strange, I don't know what's happening Yi Zhuo replied that's right, it's really strange Yi Zhuo narrowed his eyes, the three-dimensional nanotechnology from the future, can transform one person into a completely different person, this is the black technology. The only strange thing is the energy source and lineage of the perfect human system. But now as we can see, as long as we defeat Mu Yurong, the system won't be able to do anything else. Yishua and Lin Sa Sa walked out, 
At this moment a pleasant male voice rang out from behind, Hello, you are Miss Hedars, right? Yishua turned slightly, Who are you? The man, about 1.80m tall, stopped, with a warm masculine face, My name is Jing Tu Tuan, and I am also the head of the Daimu streamer platform. You were excellent on stage just now, can we exchange WeChat and get to know each other? After speaking, Jing Tu Tuan looked anxiously at Yi Zhua, although the person he needed to get to know was Yi Zhua, Lin Sa Sa was very excited, he is the top streamer V Jing Tu Tuan. He is really handsome, two people standing together, one extremely handsome, one with features as beautiful as a painting, a handsome boy and a beautiful girl, a perfect match. Sun Xiaoqing was sitting in the back seat and saw this scene, his hands suddenly stopped twisting the beads, looked up and said to the driver, go and stop there. The driver looked ahead, that girl is not the girl from yesterday, why did young master Sun bring her there? Looking at Sun young master's unhappy face, I didn't expect that he would have such a day, download, covering her mouth and giggling. After Yi Zhua and Jing Tu Tuan exchanged WeChat contacts, a car gently pulled up in front of her. The car window slowly rolled down, revealing an extremely serious face, Miss Yi, Miss Lin, it's late. Let me give you two a ride, Jing Tu Tuan was stunned, am I seeing things? Is that Sun Xiaoqing? Oh my god, does he know you too? I've been hitting on the wrong person. Sun Xiaoqing slightly nodded, opened the car door, and very gentlemanly opened the door for Yi Zhua and Lin Sa Sa. Since it was indeed late, Yi Zhua did not refuse. After saying goodbye to Jing Tu Tuan, she and Lin Sa Sa got into the car and sat in the back seat. Yi Zhua politely said, Sorry to trouble you, Mr. Cien. Sun Xiaoqing calmly replied, It's just on the way, on the way? The driver sitting in the front seat smirked. If I remember correctly, the hotel where Miss Yi is staying is in the opposite direction of where Sun Young Master lives. The round trip is about 60 kilometers. It's too convenient on this road. This is truly a smooth journey, the ride is very quiet, almost silent throughout the journey, while Li Qian Dong is waiting at the banquet, he looks around, oh, why did fifth brother go without waiting for me? About half an hour later, the car arrives at the hotel, after getting off the car Lin Sa Sa, takes a deep breath, I was really tense just now, Mr. Tsun during the journey was like an iceberg, really scary, Yi Zhua slightly frowned and asked, is there really a problem with Sun Xiaoqing? Lin Sa Sa nodded quickly, yes, very much so. Now I feel like we are not compatible anymore. Being with him is so boring. Sun Xiaoqing kept sneezing when Lin Sa Sa criticized him. After Mu Yurong returned to the hotel, she was very angry, her face sullen. She took off her high heels and threw them hard on the floor, today is really embarrassing, all because of that despicable Yi Zhua. I have to quickly livestream, to save face. But when she logged into her account, Mu Yurong was surprised to find out that she had lost most of her fans. I used to have 30 million fans, why do I only have 10 million now? And in recent video comments, everyone is discussing Mu Yurong's appearance, everyone thinks she has become ugly, it's not an illusion, she's not as pretty in real life as she is on livestream, she must be relying on livestream to look beautiful, I came to see beautiful girls not interested in ordinary people, do you want to climb walls, I've seen the god Hidars in real life, extremely beautiful, Mu Yurong quickly found a mirror, and in the mirror appeared a grey face, looking like someone who had been starving for a long time, seemingly lacking in any energy. Used to seeing her own beauty, Mu Yurong fundamentally did not believe that the person in the mirror was her. Mu Yurong reached out to touch her cheek. Her voice trembling as she asked the system, when can I change back? When the system is upgraded to level 10, the host will be able to restore their previous appearance. Level 10? Mu Yurong was immediately shocked. The first time I'm resurrected, the system is already at level 10. It's been so long, the system can't reach level 11. That's because the host has never been able to complete the mission of conquering Sun Xiaoqing. Currently, the system is forced to downgrade to level 1. Will it take a long time to upgrade back to level 10? If we can't be like before, how can we livestream in the future, without the skills to conquer Sun Xiaoqing? Don't worry, I am trying to level up quickly, 
Mu Yurong continued to ask, why did you suddenly become like this? Because Yijua defeated her, causing the system to malfunction and lose energy, Mu Yurong angrily slammed her hand on the table. Yijua, it's Yijua again, she is the variable when I resurrect, I must eliminate her, master, her physical body can only exchange for this now. Mu Yurong looked surprised, is this medicine? The next day, Yijua and Lin Sa Sa planned to go shopping on the streets of Beijing and check in at famous tourist spots online. Lin Sa Sa was also excited, pulling Yijua to the rainbow fountain, I bought the tickets, let's go inside to play in the water. Wow, it's beautiful. After playing, let's go eat grilled meat. Ha ha, sounds good. Yijua thought, in my past life, I was always stuck in the research room. I didn't expect this trip to be so relaxing, it's wonderful, she was thinking when water splashed on her, bringing Yijua back to reality. Lin Sa Sa happily called out, Shua Shua, come over here, the water feels great. The two girls were happily playing in the water together. This scene caught the eyes of two people standing under a tree not far away. Watching this, Mr. Yang smiled, those two young people look so happy. When I see them, it reminds me of myself when I was young. Unfortunately, my life has come to an end. Thinking of this, a look of loneliness appeared in Mr. Yang's eyes. Fun Yen opened his eyes and exclaimed, Isn't that the girl who saved people on the plane the other day? Old man. This must be fate. Mr. Yang was surprised, Oh, it's her. Fun Yen thought to himself, I didn't expect to meet this little medical goddess again. Could it be that heaven is giving me a chance to live? On the other side, Mu Yurong took a car to the famous Yang family mansion in the capital. The Yang family is one of the top ten richest clans. As soon as she got off the car, she was stopped by the security guard of the mansion. This is a private estate, you can't enter without permission. Do you have an invitation? Mu Yurong smiled slightly, I have something important to discuss with Mr. Yang. Please inform him that I have something he needs. Wait a moment, the security guard looked Mu Yurong up and down skeptically, I will make a call to verify. Mu Yurong clenched her fist, thinking, it's truly the case of a tiger being bullied by dogs. When I was still basking in the system's glory, I could go wherever I wanted. Now, even a mere security guard dares to provoke me. But for now, I can only endure. Once everything is settled, I will make these people pay. Mu Yurong continued, Brother, please tell Mr. Yang that my last name is Muk, I have a medicine that can cure him. I hope he must meet me once, otherwise he will regret it. Yesterday, I used the remaining derivative to exchange for a pill with the system, the system said to cure Mr. Yang's illness, as a way to quickly upgrade the system, and also find a foundation for the Mu family. With the elixir in hand, Mu Yurong becomes confident. The security guard stopped looking at Mu Yurong, then made a phone call, and after a while he came out and said, Come in. Mu Yurong glanced at him and thought, Truly, the eyes of a dog looking down on humans. Wait for me to finish everything, I will make him kneel down and beg. Truly a prestigious member of the Yang family, Mu Yurong stood in front of the magnificent and solemn building, thinking, Sun Xiaoqing's current residence is much more luxurious than this. A proud smile appeared on Mu Yurong's lips, after the system is successfully upgraded and the beauty function is restored, I will definitely make Sun Xiaoqing kneel at my feet. By then, this entire Xingjing will be mine. After knowing that Mu Yurong has medicine that can cure his father, Mr. Yang's eldest son Yang Dainyan personally welcomed Mu Yurong Hello Miss Mu, please sit down. My father went out to do some work, he will be back soon. Miss Mu, can your medicine really cure my father's illness? Yang Dainyan asked anxiously, Mu Yurong nodded Mr. Yang, Yang Dainyan, except for myself, I doubt anyone can cure Mr. Yang. Yang Dainyan continued, can Miss Mu show me the medicine then? Mu Yurong nodded, took out a small wooden box from her pocket, opened it, and saw a black pill inside. Yang Dain Yen held it up and asked, Can my father really be cured with just this pill? Mu Yurong smiled and said, Do not underestimate this pill, it is a miraculous traditional medicine. I can assure you that if Mr. Yang takes this pill, he will recover quickly. 
Yang Dainyan still couldn't believe it, if that's true, it's amazing. Even foreign professors have been helpless against my father's illness, Yang Dainyan asked, does this medicine have any side effects? Mu Yurong was shocked for a moment, she really didn't know if it had any side effects. To make Yang Dainyan trust her, Mu Yurong continued, Mr. Yang, to be honest, I am the heir of the divine Dr. Hua Tua. This medicine has been passed down from generation to generation. Yang Dainyan was surprised, thinking, heir of Hua Tua? Hua Tuo's divine doctor has always only existed in historical textbooks, I never expected that one day I would see the heir of the divine doctor. Is she telling the truth? Why did she come all the way to my door to bring out the medicine without any reason? Is this world really full of good news? Mu Yurong knew what Yang Dainyan was thinking and continued, people usually don't do things that are not beneficial to themselves. If Mr. Yang wants to know why I gave him the pill, I will tell you that I need the help of the Yang family. After that, she added, of course, I will not ask for any help from the Yang family until Mr. Yang is completely recovered, so you don't need to worry that I am deceiving you, because lying will not benefit me in any way. On the other side, when Mr. Yang heard that the little girl was playing not far away, the person who had saved people on the plane that day, after hearing his eyes lit up with an unbelievable light. Fun Yan persuaded, old man, it's only been a few short days, and you've already met this little miracle healer for the second time, proving that you two have a connection. Why not give it a try and let her examine you? Mr. Yang no longer had any hope for his body, but upon hearing this, a small ray of hope suddenly appeared in his eyes. In that case, push me over there, he said. The two of them walked over to where Yishua was playing with Lin Sa Sa, and Yishua called out, little miracle healer. Hearing that, she turned back to look. Are the two of you calling me? Do you know me? Fun Yen nodded. Yes, little divine doctor, my name is Tun. This is our family's old man. We saw you save someone on the plane before. A year ago, our old man was diagnosed with a terminal illness that couldn't be treated. I wonder if you could help us? Yishua said, I dare not accept the title of Divine Doctor. Please forgive me, old man, for allowing me to feel your pulse. Mr. Yang extended his hand, and Yishua gently placed her hand on his wrist, carefully listening to his pulse. After a while, Yishua finally released his hand. Fun Yan anxiously asked, How is it, little Divine Doctor? Yishua said, The old man's illness cannot be cured just by taking medicine, it needs acupuncture. If you both trust me, you can leave the address, I will come to the door to acupuncture for the old man tomorrow. Hearing that, Fun Yan and Mr. Yang looked at each other, both seeing hope in each other's eyes. Mr. Yang tried to calm down, so can my illness be cured? Yizhuan nodded slightly, it's possible. Hearing that, Fun Yan was somewhat excited, his eyes were red, and his throat choked up, Miss Practitioner, how many parts do you grasp firmly? Yishua calmly said 70%, Mr. Yang has been sick for so long, this is the first time he has seen hope, the winter is over, all things are reviving, spring flowers are blooming. Mr. Yang continues, little doctor, where do you live? Tomorrow, I will have the driver come pick you up. Yishua gives her address and phone number. Fun Yan quickly takes out his mobile phone to write down, little doctor, tomorrow morning at 9.30 the driver will come pick you up can you make it? Yishua nods gently, yes. On the way back in the car, Fun Yen asks in surprise, strange, the old man hears the little doctor saying she can cure his illness, but he doesn't have any doubts at all, Mr. Yang responded, because she exudes a sense of confidence, only those who truly have courage can be confident. He continued, furthermore, it's very strange, that kind of aura is only possessed by someone of very high status, how can such a small girl have such a powerful presence? Upon hearing Mu Yurong's words at the Yang family estate, Yang Dainyan breathed a sigh of relief and thought, on the whole, this descendant of the Huada lineage is not ordinary in speech, it seems that she truly has capability. When Mr. Yang returned to the estate, Mu Yurong had not yet left. Seeing him, Yang Dainyan hurriedly greeted, Father, you're back. He stood up and introduced, This is Miss Mu the successor of the divine physician Hua de Father, 
Miss Mu has brought the ancestral divine medicine here, this medicine can definitely restore one's health. Mu Yurong stood up at the right moment and said, Hello, Mr. Yang, my surname is Muk. Mr. Yang frowned slightly, in the time I was ill, many famous doctors have come and introduced themselves, but none of them truly had the ability. And now another successor, of Huade, is here. He calmly nodded, then said to his son, Escort her out, I don't need her to see my illness. Father, Miss Mu speaks with great knowledge. She is very knowledgeable in medicine, Mu Yurong smiled and said, Mr. Yang, it's okay, I'm still young, so it's understandable if you don't trust me. But when it comes to medicine, not being able to cure is not being able to cure, lying to me has no benefit. Mr. Yang, I'm only 18 this year, not to boast, have you ever seen an 18-year-old as calm and self-controlled as me? Mr. Yang listened and raised his head to look at Mu Yurong. This child is calm and cautious, unlike most young people. But her demeanor is far inferior to that of the little divine doctor. The little divine doctor is calm and reliable, Mr. Yang nodded indifferently. I have found the divine doctor who can cure my illness. Please leave, Mu Yurong cursed silently, ungrateful old man, does he really think I would willingly save him if it weren't for upgrading the system? But for the sake of upgrading the system, she had no choice, but to endure. Mu Yurong had to swallow and said, Mr. Yang, I'll say something that may be hard to hear. Besides my medicine, there are basically no other drugs that can cure your illness. Mr. Yang calmly replied. Miss Mu, I'll also say something difficult to hear. Even a high mountain has a higher mountain, and there is always someone better. Wherever you go, you will meet guests. Mu Yurong muttered angrily in her heart, this damn old man. A moment later, Mu Yurong stood up with a gentle smile and said, I'll go now. I'll leave this medicine box here, hoping that Mr. Yang will recover soon. After speaking, Mu Yurong turned and left, thinking, hmm, this old man, sooner or later, he will definitely drink the medicine I leave behind. When a person is near death, even if there is only a 1 in 10,000 chance, that person will not give up. After recovering, he will surely regret his actions today, Mu Yurong smirked. I'm waiting for this old man to come and apologize in person. Yijua held a coat in his hand. Miss Sa Sa, can you come with me to Mr. Yang's house? Lin Sa Sa disagreed, saying Zhua Zhua is going to treat the sick and save lives. I don't know anything. Yijua smiled and said, how could I know, I don't know who is there, if Sister Sa Sa is there then she will give me more courage. Lin Sa Sa felt right, Yishua is a child, if she is bullied, what should we do, two people are better. Okay. Lin Sa Sa jumped off the bed, Shua Shua, I will go with you. The Yang family's car was waiting on time on the lower floor of the hotel, it was a very luxurious Rolls Royce, arriving at the magnificent mansion, Lin Sa Sa was immediately surprised, I only saw mansions and castles and novels. I didn't expect to see a real mansion today. Mr. Yang was sitting in the living room waiting for Yi Shua, the little genius has arrived, Mr. Yang quickly welcomed the two in, and even ordered the servant to bring up the food. At the same time, ordering the servant to pour tea, Lin Sa Sa hurriedly looked at this old man who seemed to have a very good background, thinking I have to stay calm, can't embarrass Shua Shua. At this moment, in the atmosphere, Yang Dai Nian's voice echoed, Father, is this the divine doctor you mentioned, can he cure you without taking Mu Mrs. medicine? Father doesn't want to drink Mu Mrs. medicine, then I can understand. I think my father has truly found a miraculous doctor, I never expected this divine doctor to be just a little girl, Mr. Young said solemnly. Don't be rude, quickly apologize, to the young divine doctor, Yang Dain Yen, couldn't believe it. Apologize to a little girl, he thought. Father. Are you sure this little girl can cure you of your illness? If something happens, who will take responsibility? Compared to the legendary successor of the art of medicine, Yang Dain Yen naturally found it hard to believe. Is this foolish guy implying that every time I get sick, the doctor must definitely cure me? A doctor is a doctor, not a fairy. Angered and doubtful, but not daring to speak out, Mr. Yang turned to look at Yi Xue and said with a smile, Young physician, don't mind the words of that foolish guy. 
I will write a waiver of liability for you. Just focus on treating. No need for any psychological burden, Yang Dainyan sighed and said, Father, you are too naive, obviously Mu Mrs. Medicine is more effective. Mr. Yang also ignored Yang Dainyan, turned his head to look at Yi Xue, little doctor, when can we start treatment? Yi Xue calmly said, right now. Even when faced with Yang Dainyan's suspicion, she did not hesitate, just now Mr. Yang's son mentioned Mu Miss, what is that? Mr. Yang prepared a sterile room in the house for treatment, Mr. Yang was lying on the hospital bed, Yi Xue took a silver needle from the medicine box and said, Mr. Yang, I am about to perform acupuncture on you, please relax. Mr. Yang nodded, Yi Xue slowly inserted the silver needle into the blood vessel hidden under the skin. Yi Xue continued to insert the needles from one acupuncture point to another, Lin Sa Sa stood outside the glass door and watched attentively, Xue Xue is amazing, she expressed. Mr. Yang's expression of pain became lighter, under the bright light, the silver-colored needle could be seen slowly turning black. Yang Dainyan outside the glass door also watched in astonishment as Yi Xue performed acupuncture. As time passed minute by minute, Yi Xue collected all the silver needles, okay, now we wait for Mr. Yang to wake up. When Mr. Yang woke up five hours later, he sat up in bed confused, when did I fall asleep? The clock on the wall showed only three o'clock, leaving him stunned, it's been five hours already? He tried to move his muscles, my arm doesn't hurt anymore, I'm not dizzy anymore, I feel very comfortable in my whole body. I have never felt so light since I got sick, like being reborn. At that moment, Yishua walked over and asked, are you awake now? How do you feel at the moment? Mr. Yang looked up at Yi Xue, so magical, all the pain and congestion in the body are gone. Yi Xue smiled and said. It can only be considered half-healed. To completely recover, you have to take the medicine for a while. Here is the prescription. After speaking, Yi Xue handed the prescription he had just written to Mr. Yang, who held the prescription in surprise. This girl is not only good at medicine, but also has very beautiful handwriting. Even I, an old man practicing calligraphy all year round, feel ashamed. Yi Xue opened the door and stepped outside, seeing Tun Fuknen still waiting outside. Dr. Xiao, how is the old man? Mr. Yang is fine now, pay attention to your health in the future, the toxins will not accumulate quickly anymore. Duan Fun Yan was very excited, immediately ran into Mr. Yang's eyes full of enthusiasm. Fun Yan, my body is much more comfortable now. From the time I got sick until now, this is the first time I have felt like this, Duan Fun Yan happily shed tears. It's really wonderful. A moment later, Mr. Yang and Duan Fun Yan went to prepare a generous reward. This time I am truly very grateful to Dr. Xiao, Dr. Xiao, Miss Lin, please accept our gratitude Lin Sa Sa said, thank you, and then thought to herself successfully seizing Xue Xue's glory. I also have a gift, Yi Xue did not refuse, Mr. Yang, you must take your medicine on time, you are still not completely recovered, so don't neglect it. Mr. Yang nodded, understood, I will remember. When they returned to the hotel, Lin Sa Sa opened the gift and widened her eyes in surprise, this, this is a limited edition bracelet from a famous luxury brand, this limited edition bracelet is sold at a price in six figures. I have seen this bracelet on the internet before, it costs over 200,000 renminbi. Yi Xue looked up and said, it seems so. There are watches and necklaces in my place. Oh, there's also a white banknote. Lin Sa Sa pushed the bracelet in front of Yi Xue and said, damn it, I can't take this, it's too expensive. I thought it was just a small gift. Yi Xue smiled and said, Sa Sa, just take it. The Yang family is so wealthy, this little thing is nothing, Lin Sa Sa shook her head and said, in that case, I can't accept it either. This bracelet should belong to you. I didn't do anything. Yi Xue earnestly comforted Lin Sa Sa, if you didn't come with me, I wouldn't have come to the Yang family either. You also deserve credit. Really? Lin Sa Sa asked. Yi Xue nodded. Really? After struggling for a while, Lin Sa Sa also accepted the bracelet, thinking, I'll take it first, and give it to her whenever she needs it. 
On the other hand, at the Lin family, the servant took the opportunity to say a few words to Feng Tianhua. I heard with my own ears, Lin Zhe said anyone could be his stepmother, except for you. Feng Tianhua angrily scolded, this Lin Zhe, truly a cunning little wolf. I have treated it well for many years, but it bears a grudge against me Feng Tianhua turned his head and looked around before saying, it seems I have to grasp the timing, you should help me too, the servant asked, how can I help you, she said, if I have a child, then Lin Zhe will not be as important anymore, right? At a bustling and lively night market, on a very cold winter night, Lin Zhe and his friends were sitting at a small round table. They stared as Lin Zhe finished one glass of wine and moved on to the next. A Zhe, is everything all right? Li Wen continued, the issue with the candy wrapper has not been resolved yet, you said your grandmother would not allow your father to marry that woman and bring her home to give birth to your younger sister. Is that correct? Lin Zhe held the cup tightly, smiling, possibly, my grandmother really likes Feng Tianhua. So, according to the current situation, the issue of Feng Tianhua entering the door for marriage is just a matter of time. Er Chiu didn't know how to comfort others, so he could only say, actually, having another younger sister would also be good. Lin Zhe said, I don't like having a younger sister. Er Chiu continued, don't say that. What if one day you become a crazy younger sister fanatic? Lin Zhe stood up and kicked the chair, saying, I went to the nearby convenience store to buy some things. Looking at Lin Zhe's back, Er Chiu scratched his head and said, It's over, I wanted to comfort a Zhe, but it seems like I said the wrong thing. The friend next to him patted his shoulder and said, You're so foolish, because of Feng Tianhua, Lin Zhe has always been very sensitive to this little sister. Sorry, I'll be more careful next time when talking. Lin Zhe put his hands in his pockets, not in a good mood, snorted coldly, what little sister, she's just like that Feng Tian Tian, so disgusting, Lin Zhe is thinking about accidentally bumping into someone, Lin Zhe panics and asks, are you okay? Lin Zhe looks up and sees a face with beautiful features like a painting, with a soft light shining on Yishua's face, enveloping it in a faint halo. Lin Zhe is surprised that the other person is a girl of similar age. A moment later, Lin Zhe reacts, I'm sorry for bumping into you. Yi Zhu gently shakes her head, it's okay, please don't hold it in your heart. Yi Zhu smiles lightly and says goodbye, this girl looks so familiar. Lin Zhe looks at her back in slight surprise, it's clearly the first time we've met, yet I feel a strange sense of familiarity. Why do I have this feeling? The next day at the Lin family villa, Lin Zhe was still hungover from yesterday, so he stayed at his friend's house and came home today. Upon returning home, he immediately ran into his grandmother, startling him. Lin Madam's face looked a bit stern as she asked, Where did you go last night and not come home? Lin Zhe calmly replied, Grandma, I went to my classmate's house last night. Her expression darkened as she looked at Lin Zhe, You're hanging out with those troublemakers again aren't you? It's disgraceful. Aze, associating with people like them will only lower your status. Lin Zhe obediently replied, Grandma, they are my friends, Mrs. Lin angrily said, What do you mean? They and I are not from the same world. She thought, their parents are just ordinary people, what right do they have to be friends with the Lin family? At first, I couldn't control Lin Jin Qing, so I let him end up with Yi Shu having a child before marriage. Aze is still like this, sooner or later he will follow in his father's footsteps. Lin Zhe, you quickly sever ties with them. I'm sorry grandmother, they are all very important friends of mine, I can't sever ties with them. If there's nothing else, I'll go back to my room after saying that, Lin Zhe turned and walked away. Looking at Lin Zhe's back, Mrs. Lin's face turned pale with anger. Feng Tianhua walked in from outside and comforted Mrs. Lin, Sister Lam, don't be angry. Aze is still a child. If you explain a little more, the boy will understand your feelings. Mrs. Lin sighed, this child is getting worse day by day. Sooner or later, he will be spoiled. Feng Tianhua smiled, perhaps the boy is feeling a bit of competition and pressure, so he won't be innocent anymore. He will also know how to choose useful friends. Mrs. Lin agreed, if we find Aze a little brother, maybe he will think more deeply. 
We need to find a suitable partner to continue the Lin family, thinking about it, Mrs. Lin held Feng Tianhua's hand and said. Tianhua, I just asked someone to cook a nourishing soup for Lin Jingqing. I will bring it over in a moment. Feng Tianhua immediately refused, now that Jin Qing has gone to the nursing home, saying he wants to rest and recuperate, you shouldn't bother him. Upon hearing this, Mrs. Lin felt heartbroken, this little child, she's still too kind-hearted. Eighteen years ago, if she had fought a little, Yi Xu wouldn't have had the opportunity to intervene. Feng Tianhua pretended to be sorry, Sister Lam, but I know that in Lin Jin Qing's heart, there's always Yi Xu. Mrs. Lin was immediately angered. Don't let the child wait for another 18 years in vain, go quickly, talk to Jin Qing, increase intimacy. Feng Tianhua had no choice but to bring the soup to Lin Jin Qing. The car stopped at the Beijing hospital, Feng Tianhua went straight to the 7th floor internal medicine department, Lin Jin Qing lived in a luxurious VIP room, with a bodyguard standing guard at the door stopping her, Hello madam asked me to bring the soup to Mr. Jin Qing, a man went in, and came out a while later, the boss said you can bring the soup to me, please come in, Feng Tianhua was slightly surprised, then handed the thermos to the bodyguard. There was a hint of darkness in Feng Tianhua's eyes, Lin Jin Qing has always been like this. Never giving himself a chance. This situation won't last long. This time I must take Mrs. Lin's place. Feng Tianhua's eyes showed determination. On the other hand, at Yizhua's hotel, because he promised Sun Xiaoqing to have dinner with him on Saturday evening, she had already made a reservation at a restaurant. Yizhua looked at Lin Sa Sa and said, Sister Sa Sa, tonight let's go out to eat, okay? Lin Sa Sa, holding her mobile phone, said, Zhuo Zhuo, you go by yourself, I'm not going anywhere. Why? Yi Zhuo asked suspiciously, he doesn't eat human flesh, why don't you go? Lin Sa Sa continued, he's too fierce, I'm afraid I won't dare to eat, you go, I'll wait for you at the hotel. Although Tsin Xiaoqing is very handsome, talented, a devout Buddhist and vegetarian, the fear radiating from Lin Sa Sa's core makes it uncontrollable. Yi Zhuo silently thought, her expression doesn't seem to be agreeing to this. Okay, then you go, Lin Sa Sa nodded, Sun Xiaoqing treats Xu Xu differently, I don't want to be a third wheel. What if they end up together for real in the future? In the restaurant, two girls sitting at the table next to them paid attention to Sun Xiaoqing, look, the person next to the window exudes such a presence all the time, the man sitting on the seat next to the window, wearing a simple cloak, twisting a rosary in his hand and absent-mindedly looking out the window. Twenty minutes later, Yi Zhuo arrived at the restaurant, Sin, you're early, aren't you? Yi Zhuo smiled, I'm sorry, I invited guests, but ended up being late instead. Sin Xiaoqing slightly turned his head back. Just a little earlier, you can have a couple of minutes, Yi Zhuo sat down and looked at the server. Today I am treating, so let me order. I want this dish, and also this one. Then add two portions of dessert after the meal. Sun Xiaoqing was a bit surprised. Others usually wait for me to order, only she naturally acts like the host. Sun Xiaoqing's thin lips slightly curled up. One portion of dessert is enough, I don't eat sweets. Yi Zhuo looked at the server. It's okay, just give two portions, I can finish them by myself. Sun Xiaoqing was speechless. I suspect she basically has no intention of ordering for me. After the meal was served, Yi Zhuo began to eat attentively, it seems really not bad. This was the first time Sun Xiaoqing had met such a beautiful girl, he silently thought this girl's way of eating is quite liberal, a bit interesting. Unlike his four sisters, who only eat a little each time to maintain their figures, like feeding a kitten, and dare not touch the dessert Yi Zhuo praised, this restaurant is really good, the food is delicious, even the dessert is this good. Sun Xiaoqing smiled faintly, there is a tea house nearby, I want to invite Miss Xi to have a cup of tea, conveniently ask for guidance on chess skills. Yi Zhuo frowned slightly, do you want to play chess with me? Sun Xiaoqing nodded softly, yes. Yi Zhuo took out his phone to check the time, it was still early, not even 7 o'clock yet, so she nodded and said, okay. An hour later, they arrived at Bao Na Tea House, where a chess set was on the table. 
Yi miss, please, Sun Xiaoqing nodded gently, crossed her legs, and sat down. Facing her, Sun Xiaoqing clearly could not match Yi Xue's chess skills. After only half a game, Sun Xiaoqing was defeated. Sun Xiaoqing furrowed her brows and said, I lose. Yi Xue smiled and said, Mr. Sun has conceded. Losing is common, as long as you don't want to lose, no one can beat you. Do you want to be my father? Sun Xiaoqing was a bit incredulous, saying that only after Yi Xue finished speaking did he realize that he was not actually broadcasting live. I'm used to talking to my dad during live broadcasts, he said. Seeing Sun Xiaoqing's amazed expression, Yi Xue was a bit surprised. It seems there was a misunderstanding, she asked him. Do you usually go online? Do you watch live streams? Sun Xiaoqing replied with a slight bow, I don't go online, and I don't watch live streams. Yi Xue's sympathetic gaze, don't blame such an old trick, it still makes you look so surprised, Sun Xiaoqing felt attacked by her gaze, is she criticizing me for being old? Yi Xue waved his hand and said, forget it, forget it, I just accidentally brought the wrong attitude from the live stream earlier, she cleared her throat and changed the subject, let's play another round, shorts and Xiaoqing twirled her long fingers around the bead necklace while looking at the chessboard, if I were Yi Miss, how would I have made that last move, Yi Xue held the black pieces and moved a pawn to the side. Sometimes a single pawn can change the whole game, and disrupt the board easily like this. Life is like a game of chess, and chess is like life. We cannot underestimate anyone in life. The previously stable chessboard suddenly lit up, and the pawn he moved unexpectedly turned the tide of the situation. Sun Xiaoqing's eyes brightened as he also moved a piece and said, But if your rook comes over here, my cannon will capture your rook. Yi Zhu smiled and looked at him, Mr. Sun, do you think you've already won like this? Sun Xiaoqing carefully looked at the chessboard, is there a way out for her? Yi Zhu picked up a chess piece with his white fingers and calmly said, You took my rook, so my knight can checkmate your king. Mr. Tsin, do you know what this is called? Sun Xiaoqing did not expect that Yi Zhu had a way out, which was extraordinary. Sun Xiaoqing praised without hesitation, good at catching grasshoppers, birds dive deep. Yi Zhu modestly said, Normal, just normal, it's because you are too dumb. For the first time in his life, Sun Xiaoqing was called a fool by someone else, and the person was a little girl. But instead of getting angry, he said, I admit that I am clueless, realizing that I have been eliminated in the middle of the chessboard. Actually, your chess skills are not bad, Yi Zhu continued, very few people can make me truly show my courage. You are considered the first, or rather, the second. Hearing this, Sun Xiaoqing blushed and asked, so who is the first? Yi Xue replied briefly, a friend I met online during a live stream. She thought to herself, his name is easygoing monk. Sun Xiaoqing quietly thought to himself, who are you on the internet? Are you male or female, how old are you, where do you live, have we ever met before? Perhaps even he himself didn't realize that he not only constantly thinks of such questions, but also frowns. Yi Xue stood up and said, Mr. Tsun, it's getting late, I should go back to the hotel to pack and return to Yunjing. Sun Xiaoqing wanted to play another round, but after hearing Yi Xue's words, he immediately stood up and said, I'll accompany you. Then please, Mr. Tsun, she thought, I always feel overshadowed by his height. The two walked to the door together, Sun Xiaoqing invited Yi Xue to go out, he is very serious and meticulous. The manager looked at these two and thought, they are too eye-catching, like a pair, from a idle drama. Both are very strong and make a perfect match. The next morning, Yi Zhua and Lin Sa Sa took a plane back home. On the plane, Lin Sa Sa was a little sad and said, Shua Zhua, the Lunar New Year is coming soon, I still haven't found a job. Shua Zhua, what do you think I should do after the New Year? I have always worked at the factory. Every day, repeating a very boring job, wanting to change a job. But I don't know what to do. Yi Zhua narrowed his eyes slightly. Sa Sa, you shouldn't choose to work, you should go back to school. Next year, take the college entrance exam and go to the university you want, study the major you like, and after graduation, do what you want to do. 
Lin Sa Sa looked surprised at Yishua. College entrance exam? But you're already 20 years old this year, you haven't touched books for a long time. Yishua smiled gently. So what if you're 20 years old, it's the age to go to college. Moreover, now no matter where you work, education is still the most important. After listening to Yishua's serious words, Lin Sa Sa hesitated a bit. Shua Shua, can I really do it? Why not, Sa Sa, when you go to school, have you ever thought about what kind of person you want to become in the future? Lin Sa Sa thought for a while. Actually, when I was in school, I dreamt of becoming a lawyer. Someone like me wanting to be a lawyer, it's really funny, isn't it? Lin Sa Sa's eyes were a bit self-deprecating. Yishua held Lin Sa Sa's hand and said, It's not unreasonable. It's not laughable either. Only those without dreams are laughable. If you want to be a lawyer, then take the entrance exam for the School of Political Science and Law, try to become an outstanding lawyer. Sister Sa Sa, if you want to study, I can help you review. Upon hearing this, Lin Sa Sa suddenly remembered the scene when I attended Dai Mu's anniversary party, the people sitting next to me were speaking words that I couldn't understand. If my academic level was higher, then I would be able to understand, with such a low academic level, I feel like I can't connect with them on the same level Yi Shua's words awakened Lin Sa Sa, Lin Sa Sa held Yi Shua's hand and said, Shua Shua. Listen to me, just give it a try and see how it goes. Sa Sa, don't worry, I will definitely help you. After a five-hour flight, they arrived at Yunjing. In the evening, Yi Shua brought gifts home. I'm back, everyone. As soon as they saw Yi Shua, Yi Shu and Yi Sen were excited. Shua Shua, your niece. Yi Shu didn't go to work today, she stayed home and prepared a big table of delicious food for Yi Shua, who hadn't seen her in a week. As soon as Yi Shua got home, he hugged her tightly. Mom, I miss you so much I miss you too, the mother and daughter felt like a year had passed, Yi Sen stood beside them and exclaimed, you two really are mother and daughter and the bond between you and Shua Shua runs deep. Yi Shua took out gifts for Yi Shu and Yi Sen, despite the two of them scolding Yi Shua for spending money recklessly, they were still very happy in their hearts. Yi Shua then took out a gift from Mr. Yang and said, Mom, this is a gift from one of my patients, which includes some jewelry that you can wear. I'm old, what do I need to wear jewelry for? Yi Shu laughed and refused, young ones wearing these still look very beautiful. Yishua said, Mother, no matter how old you are, you never look old. When we go out, others always say we look like sisters. Besides, the school doesn't allow it, you wear it first and then give it to me. It's not very valuable, so you keep it first. After saying that, Yishu agreed to accept these jewelry items. When Yisun saw them, he exclaimed, Oh my, are these real? They must be worth tens of millions. Yishu did not think so, how could that be possible, they must be fake, but they are still quite beautiful. Yisun quietly thought to himself, according to my granddaughter's instincts, these things are likely true, we must be careful. Yishu said, the food is ready, let's start eating. Yes, I am very hungry right now, mom. After dinner, Yishua opened the live stream room to prepare for a live chess game. When logging into his account, Yishua discovered that the number of fans has actually increased from 10 million to 50 million people, Yishua was surprised to start the live stream because she was used to not showing her face, this time she did not show her face either, netizens commented watching the live stream party, I'm here at the scene running to follow the host, it's really beautiful Yi2 live also shows her face. Clearly she can rely on her beauty to make a living. But our Yi too relies on her character Yi Shu broadcasted for an hour then took a break I've gained too many followers these days, thank you everyone. Today's live stream ends here, Mu Yuron kept staring at the screen until Yi Shu stopped broadcasting, my peak period only had over 30 million fans, Yi Shu only participated in one party. Fans increased from 10 million to 50 million, despicable. Why can Yi Shu continue to live stream? Can I only hide behind the screen silently watching? A few days later at Mu family, Mu Yurong stared at his phone, why hasn't Yang family come to find me yet? That old man is stubborn, maybe only my medicine can save him? 
Suddenly Mu Yurong heard his parents talking to each other, I want to help too, but I don't know any doctors, I have no way to get to Yang family. Mu Yurong was surprised, how is Mr. Yang from the Yang family? Did he just see a miracle doctor? Mr. Yang from the Yang family, who used to be the head of the ten major families, was seriously ill before, but recently recovered suddenly. He just came to Yunjing yesterday to find the miracle doctor who cured him. Mu Yurong's eyes lit up, after waiting for so many days, I finally received good news. Mom and Dad, the miracle doctor Mr. Yang is looking for is me, Mu Yurong said excitedly. Her father, Mr. Muck, looked at her with joy, Yurong, are you telling the truth? Yes, she replied. A year ago, Mr. Yang was suffering from a deadly and incurable disease, diagnosed by the hospital as such. A few days ago, I went to Xinjiang and prescribed medicine for Mr. Yang. He asked with some concern, Yurong, where did you get the miraculous medicine from? What he feared most was the emptiness of joy, still had to figure it out a little bit, Mu Yurong also knew that he was worried so he comforted Dad, don't worry about this, Dad just needs to know that his daughter is courageous a ray of light flashed in Mu Yurong's eyes, a slight smile appeared on the corner of his mouth, he sighed lightly, his eyes filled with excitement looking at Mu Yurong and said, okay, if we can seize this opportunity to climb to the Yang family, then our company can. Surely win that bid, there are many companies trying to win the bid, Mrs. Mu Yurong was also excited to hear, so Mr. Yang came to Yunjing to find someone, and unexpectedly, the main character of this story is my daughter. If the rich ladies knew, they would admire me to death, wouldn't they? Her mouth almost touched her ear, Mu Yurong looked at her parents and continued, the Yang family relies on Mr. Yang, even if I don't say anything, they will know how to repay the savior Mr. Yang. Mu Yurong's mother held her daughter's hand, thank goodness we broke off the engagement with the Tsun family, how could the bankrupt Tsun family be worthy of our daughter? Yurong, remember to stay away from the Tsun family a little bit, they are no longer the same kind of people as us. Mu Yurong nodded, I know already. If I were to live another life, I must wear the heaviest crown and marry the noblest man. Otherwise, what would be the point of my rebirth? Thinking up to here, a glint appeared in Mu Yurong's eyes as she continued, By the way, Mom and Dad, I want to discuss something with you. I plan to give the Yi family a gift. Her mother widened her eyes in surprise, filled with emotions of disbelief, that Yi Shu has bullied me for so many years, I wish I could tear her apart, why would you want to give her a gift? Mu Yurong shook her head, Mother, Yi Xue is the one I mentioned. I want to cooperate with Yi Xue and Tong Sua Wu. Hearing this, both of them were shocked, suppressing the fear in their hearts. Are you saying that he is the only heir of the Tong Group, Tong Sua Wu? That's Tong Group, a powerful and prestigious organization in Yunjing. I remember he had already obtained a position in the Tong Group when he was young. Although not as good as Tsun Shaoqing, he is not inferior by much, Mu Yurong's mother remained silent. Yurong, I know you are a kind child, but Yishua is not worthy of you doing this. Mu Yurong smiled and said, Mother, do you know that Tong Sua Wu is not an easy character to mess with? In my previous life, Tong Sua Wu married me, but he never treated me as his wife, and he never touched me. I was tortured every day, and in the end, Muxer was killed, and my parents died in a fire. To me, Tong Sua Wu is a demon, a flesh-eating demon. Now looking back, Mu Yurong still feels a little scared. When I was young, I was really stupid. I thought Tong Sua Wu was a good man, but now it's really laughable. Yi Zhua has been obstructing me. Isn't she very pleased recently? Tong Sua Wu likes to mistreat beautiful women, so let the devil come and deal with her. Marrying him. Yi Zhua is equivalent to falling into earthly hell. Mu Yurong's mouth curved into a sinister smile. The next day, Mu Yurong went to Yi Zhua's house, at this time Yi Zhua was grabbing his coat to go out for a bit, then heard the call and a very familiar voice, Yi Shu looked up and saw Mu Yurong, this is the girl I raised for 18 years. Mu Yurong smiled and said, Aunt Yi, let me introduce you, this is my mother. Shen Rong, mother Mu Yurong, is standing nearby, with a look of disgust in her eyes. Today, Yi Shua is not in the mood to act with Mu Yurong saying why did you come here? 
Shinrong's face is cold as she says, are you talking to your sister like that? Yishu frowns slightly, normally she would not speak harshly to Yishua, her daughter is not meant to be treated badly. Yishu stands up in front to protect Yishua, she looks at Shinrong, Shuishua is now my daughter, she doesn't have a sister. If Madame Mu wants to show off her power, then go back to the Mu family and do it yourself, Shinrong's face turned pale, Yi Shu, what are you, an unscrupulous person giving birth to an unscrupulous daughter? How dare you do this to yourself? Mu Yurong held Shinrong's hand to signal, Mom, don't get angry, then smiled at Yi Shu, Aunt Yi, this is my mother's character, actually she has a good heart, don't argue with her. Yi Shu became more and more angry. I feel that these two mother and child have malicious intentions towards Shua Shua. No need to say, I won't accept your things, our small temple cannot accommodate a big Buddha statue, go back to your upscale neighborhood, Mu Yurong also said without anger, continuing, Auntie, I know we have had a lot of unhappy things in the past. At that time, I was still too young and foolish to have angered aunt. Today, older sister specially came here to apologize to Yi Shua. Mu Yurong stopped talking nonsense, handed a fruit basket with a red invitation card, tomorrow is the 78th birthday party of Ola Madam Tong family. Sister hopes you can attend with me. This is the invitation card, I'll be waiting for you then, Mu Yurong finished speaking and turned to look at Shen Rong, mother, let's go. Yi Shua looked at the back of the mother and daughter, slightly furrowed his brows and lifted the invitation card, how is Tong Ola Madam's birthday? The company is planning to cooperate with the Tong family, no matter what Mu Yurong's intentions are. This invitation arrives at the right time. At this moment, Yi Shu grabbed the fruit basket with the invitation card, Shua Shua, they surely have ill intentions, don't go. Mom, take this and throw it away. Yi Shu reassured Yi Shu, Mom, this party is important for my career, I will attend. Don't worry, I know their intentions. Hearing this, Yi Shu had to compromise, then you must be careful, make sure to bring your phone, if anything goes wrong, call me immediately. In the blink of an eye, the party day arrived, Yi Shu changed clothes and went downstairs to the apartment building. She saw Mu Yurong's car parked there, Tet and Gwen Dan coming soon, and today is Ola Madam Tong family's birthday party, so Yi Shu wore a red dress. Mu Yurong looked at her with envy, so beautifully dressed, it's good to dress nicely, but when it attracts that perverted demon. Mu Yurong pretended to care and turned to ask, Are you not cold wearing something beautiful? Yi Shua smiled faintly, Mu Miss, why don't you know that clothes can adjust the temperature? Mu Yurong frowned slightly, Are you saying that the clothes can adjust the temperature of ZY Company? No wonder, Yi Shua still maintained a calm demeanor, turns out you are wearing high-tech clothing. The clothes from their family must be pre-ordered. I haven't bought them yet, where did you buy them? Yi Shua smirked at Mu Yurong, calmly saying, Mu Miss wants to buy? Five million, pay today, and get it tomorrow. Mu Yurong widened her eyes, five million? Although ZY's official website does not list the price of this outfit, their most expensive outfit costs six figures, how can it be sold for an exorbitant price of five million? Yi Shua's rustic tone said, why do you think it's expensive? This is the latest design of ZY Group's diamond design. If you don't buy it, there will be a bunch of people lining up behind to get it. Mu Yurong nodded in agreement, I will have my assistant give you the money. It's only 5 million, when I married Sun Xiao Qing, not to mention 5 million, even 50 million or 500 million is nothing. The weather is getting colder, how can I show my beauty in front of Sun Xiao Qing if I wear too much? Yi Shua pursed his lips and said, it's easy for fools to make money. Because of the five million, Yi Shua decided to treat Mu Yurong better for a while. A moment later, the car stopped in front of the Tong family mansion. Today is the birthday party of Madame Ola Tong family. Tong family decorates the exterior very splendidly. Yi Shua and Mu Yurong handed out invitations to the staff for inspection, then followed the servant inside the mansion. Miss Mu, a pleasant male voice echoed in Mu Yurong's ear. Mu Yurong looked up, and not far away she saw the man she despised, none other than the heir of the Tong family, Tong Sua Wu. Just like in past lives, he actively came to greet me. 
In the previous life, I was foolish to think that Tong Sua Wu is the one who loves me at first sight. But he is truly insane, at that time I was full of illusions about marriage, I never expected that since that day I stepped from heaven to hell. In this world, there is no such thing as love at first sight. Mr. Tong Mu Yurong kindly hides the fear in his eyes, this is my sister, Yi Zhua. Mu Yurong is sweating profusely on his back, she still can't control the fear emanating from her bones. Yijua also quickly noticed that Mu Yurong was trembling, she's very afraid of this person, isn't she? Tong Sua Wu turned his gaze towards Yijua, reaching out towards her, hello, Miss Yi, hello Yijua shook his hand. Mu Yurong looked and said, it seems Tong Sua Wu is very interested in Yijua, Mu Yurong's eyes lit up, it's best for Yijua to attract this pervert. Torture her to taste the pain of her past life, Yijua slightly raised her eyes to look at the dessert on the table. She sighed, it looks very delicious Yijua's eyes fell on the dessert, which was a delicate cherry blossom cake. She hurried to pick it up and enjoy it, ignoring Tong Sua Wu standing there, Mu Yurong's eyes widened as if he was hallucinating, is that Mr. Yang? Tong Sua Wu glanced over there, nodding, yes, Mr. Yang came to Yunjing to find his savior, he asked me to help him find someone. At that moment, Mu Yurong's eyes lit up and she said directly, the person Mr. Yang is looking for is me. Hearing this, Tong Sua Wu turned back to look at Mu Yurong, his gaze gentle and somewhat inquisitive, is Mr. Yang's savior someone with the last name Yi? Mu Yurong's forehead was sweating coldly, but he had to pretend to calmly explain, before I was 18 years old, my last name was Yi, I recently changed it. Tong Sua Wu nodded slightly, pushing his glasses back out of habit. So, Miss Mu, come with me this way. Mu Yurong faced the great pressure from Tong Sua Wu, following his footsteps, feeling cunning and fearful, not knowing when he could take her life. Seeing that he had nothing to do, Yishua picked up the half eaten peach cake to continue eating. Tong family's courtyard was very large, as the front hall was not suitable for meeting guests, so Mr. Yang waited for them in the courtyard in the backyard. Mr. Yang is an old friend of the Tong family, and he is very familiar with Mrs. Tong. At this time, Mr. Yang is talking to Mrs. Tong from behind. Madame Ola, Tong Sua Wu's grandmother, smiles and says, I heard the doctor treated you very young, and she is also a girl. Mr. Yang nods, yes, the doctor is still young, but her talent is not small at all. She saved my life. I was ready for death, even prepared a suicide note. But I never thought I could save this life. Tong Sua Wu's voice interrupts the conversation between the two elderly people. Mr. Yang, Miss Mu, is here. Hearing this, Mr. Yang's eyes light up, and then he feels that something is not right. Miss Mu, Mu Yurong stood outside looking at him. Feeling extremely excited. She stood upright, with the corners of her mouth showing a victorious smile. Mr. Yang, your complexion has recovered very well, she said. Mu Yurong thought to herself, if it weren't for my medicine, Mr. Yang wouldn't have lived for a few more days. This old man is intelligent, he must know how to repay my kindness. After receiving his thanks, I can upgrade the system. After upgrading the system, I can not only activate the full-level chess skills, but also activate the full-level beauty skills. By then, Yishu will be nothing. I can crush Yishua within a few minutes. Mr. Yang frowned. Sua Wu, you got it wrong. The divine healer is not Miss Mu. A smile froze on Mu Yurong's face. If it's not me, then who else could it be? Besides me, who else has the ability to bring the dead back to life? Mr. Yang didn't recognize his savior. Tong Sua Wu frowned and turned to look. Miss Mu, please explain, he demanded. Mu Yurong suppressed her anger and hurriedly replied, Mr. Yang, the medicine you took was given by me. Have you forgotten? Mr. Yang waved his hand repeatedly, saying, The medicine you gave me, I never took it. Fun Yen, return it to her. Duan Fun Yen hastily ran off to fetch it, holding a small wooden box in his hand. Open the lid and say, Mu Miss, this medicine has been stored for a long time. Now please take it back, Mu Yurong was shocked, Mr. Yang didn't take the medicine, what's going on? If he doesn't take the medicine, who will cure him? Mu Yurong held the medicine box stiffly, his face pale, a little sweat on his back, 
I thought I had cured him, I used to confidently say I was Mr. Yang's savior, it's really embarrassing, Mu Yurong was so embarrassed that he wanted to find a crack on the ground to hide, Mr. Yang did not pay attention to Mu Yurong, looked at Tong Sua Wu and said, Sua Wu, Mu's medical skills are missing, but she is more beautiful. Tong Sua Wu quietly thought, who could she be? Wait a moment. Sir, Tong Sua Wu said, then quickly walked towards the front hall, where Yishua was eating her fourth piece of cake, she ate very seriously, clearly it was just a piece of cake, but when she ate it, it felt like a delicious dish. After Yishua finished eating the cake, a pleasant male voice sounded next to her, Hello, Miss Yi. Hello, Yishua glanced up. That young man was stunned when he said, I am Ki Ban, may I be friends with you? Ki Ban is a real player, a scumbag who casts a wide net to catch girls, he thinks, this Miss Yi is truly beautiful, none of my five girlfriends can compare to her. Yi Zhuo looked at Ki Ban and smiled, will your girlfriends be happy? It seems like she knows about me. Miss Yi is mistaken, I am still single now. Honestly, I haven't met a beauty as beautiful as Miss Shi in a long time, Yi Zhuo's eyebrows furrowed slightly, and the corner of his mouth lifted slightly as he said, I haven't met anyone who influences others' tastes like you in a long time. Ki Ban raised an eyebrow slightly, and said. If no one has taught you Miss Manners, then I can help her. He thought, there is a big difference between men and women physically, but no matter what, women are the ones who suffer. Yi Zhuo set down his glass of wine, his left hand pulling his right hand to crack his fingers, looking up at Ki Ban and asking, are you suggesting you want to fight me? There was a hint of coldness in Yi Zhuo's eyes, as if he was looking at a clown. Ki Ban felt his manly dignity being provoked by Yi Zhuo's teasing, no woman has ever dared to talk to me like this. He raised his fist towards Yi Zhuo. The reputation of this woman used to be very bad, no one helped her even when I hit her. Yi Zhuo gently sidestepped, extended her leg to trip him, in fact, today she wore a slightly inconvenient dress, Ki Ban felt his whole body suddenly lose gravity, he fell forward heavily and fell to the ground, his legs raised in the air, it was so noisy here that everyone turned to look, isn't that playboy Ki Ban? Looks like he's in trouble now, the one who used to teach him seems to be the fake daughter of the Mu family before, Yi Zhuo yes, she has changed a lot, much prettier Yi Zhuo just looked at Ki Ban with a curious look, in a soft tone why is young master Ki Ban so weak like a girl? Ki Ban's wrinkled face turned into a ball, already very embarrassed if people know that I am a grown man, being hit by a girl like this, where should I put my face? Ki Ban endured the pain and quickly left the party wait for me there Yi Zhuo looked at his back, speaking softly, Ki Ban, be careful where you step, don't sink into the mud anymore, Tong Sua Wu stood aside witnessing the whole process, beautiful peach blossom eyes squinting. This girl is really interesting, I really like the temperament of this young lady. Later he stepped in front of Yi Zhuo, gently saying, Miss Shi, do you remember Mr. Yang in Xinjiang? Yi Zhuo furrowed her brows slightly, yes, how is his health now? Hearing this he thought, looks like it's her, Mr. Yang has recovered very well, he wants to meet you, he continued this way, Miss Yi Zhuo followed along, and soon the two arrived at the back hall, Mr. Yang, I brought the person here, Mu Yurong is standing not far away, her eyes seem to want to eat Yi Zhuo alive, why is it always Yi Zhuo ruining my plans? Mr. Yang is excited when he sees Yi Zhuo, little medical god. Mr. Yang. The aura of this person is not bad, you can rest assured. Tong Lola Madam is also shocked when she sees Yi Zhuo. This medical god not only has abilities, but also a very good aura, she speaks up, little medical god, I am Tong Sua Wu's grandmother, the heart knife friend of Mr. Yang's. You can call me Grandma Tong. Grandma Tong replied with a smile on her face, Mrs. Tong was pleased, according to the third generation of the Tong family, Grandma Tong's biggest regret in life was not being able to have a granddaughter. Mr. Yang expressed his gratitude to Yi Shua and brought a document, this is for your granddaughter, inside our 20% shares of the Yang group, she must accept. Yi Shua stood up from his seat and refused, Mr. Yang, you have already given me gifts before, I cannot accept the shares. Last winter, the doctor declared that I wouldn't live through this winter, it was your granddaughter who pulled me back from the hands of death, she deserves these shares, Yi Zhuo shook his head gently and smiled. Mr. Yang, 
I am still a student and don't understand how to handle a company. You should take it back. What I have given, how can there be any reason to take it back, he continued. Our lawyer has already found the evidence. Today, you must accept this share. Mr. Yang, it's useless to talk more. If I don't want to accept it, I won't. This little one, that little one, so many people want shares of the Yang family, but I don't need them, Yijua said. Tong Ola Madam observed silently, the character of this little deity is indeed good. Uninterested in wealth and status, perhaps the girl will be worthy of Sua Wu, thinking about his grandson and then looking at Yijua, the old lady spoke up, little deity, what is your name? Yijua politely replied, my name is Yijua. Tong Sua Wu stood at a distance, listening to their conversation. He looked at Yijua and then turned to glance at Mu Yurong, who stood nearby, visibly upset. Tong Sua Wu took out his phone and called his assistant, find out what's been happening recently with the Mu family. Why does Mu Yurong, before turning 18, carry the surname Yi? In the dark night at the Tong family, Tong Sua Wu held up the investigation report on Mu Yurong. Yurong used to live in the Yi family, but recently returned to the Mu family. Mu Yurong is definitely not the person I want to find, he folded the documents and then undressed, taking off his shirt, watch, and glasses to take a bath. The white shirt was unbuttoned, revealing the strong chest of the man, an image that made people's blood boil under the eight-pack abdomen. The only flaw was the numerous scars on the man's back, although they were old, the scars were still clearly visible, with a thin red string wrapped around his neck, with a red stone on it for safety. He was injured when he was young, and as a result, his memory is also erratic. A thin boy sits huddled in a corner, his eyes vacant, his skin exposed to the air marred with small and large scars. Before him is a young girl, she leans down to speak to him, don't be afraid, I'll blow on it for you, and it won't hurt anymore. In this darkness, she is the only salvation for this boy, Tong Sua Wu wonders, is it really her? The next day at the Yi family, Yi Xu feels nervous, may I ask who you are? Early in the morning, an old man dressed in elegant clothes, accompanied by a group of people carrying a bunch of gifts, arrives at the house. Yi Xu finds it strange, Mr. Yang comes to the house with big and small packages, he smiles, hello, I'm Yang. Yi Zhuo once saved me in Xinjiang. Yi Xu was surprised, yes, Zhuo Zhuo seems to have told me before. At this moment, Yi Zhuo also came over, she looked surprised at the uninvited guest, Mr. Yang, why did you come so early in the morning, why didn't you say a word to me? Yesterday, I didn't accept your shares, so I came to ask. Yi Zhuo waved her hand, this is a small matter, besides, you have already gave me a gift. Yesterday, Mr. Yang gave the shares to Yi Zhuo but she didn't accept them, so Mr. Yang had to temporarily give up his intention and continue, Zhuo Zhuo, this time I came to ask, do you want to be my adopted daughter? Yi Zhuo did not refuse Mr. Yang's offer, saying, of course, as long as you don't mind. Having a wide network of connections is not a bad thing. Ultimately, having another friend means having another way out. Yi Xu was surprised to hear this, and Mr. Yang happily turned to ask Yi Xu, how does Zhuo Zhuo's mother feel? Yi Xu laughed and said, Mr. Yang, Zhuo Zhuo has never had a grandfather since she was a child. If you want to have her as your granddaughter, it means that you and Zhuo Zhuo have a connection, and it is also a blessing for our family. I am happy about it. Zhuo Zhuo's mother's words make me feel at ease. Having a granddaughter like Zhuo Zhuo is a great fortune for me. Mr. Yang said with some concern that Yi Xu might not agree, silently thinking, the future little medical genius will definitely achieve great success. If she becomes my granddaughter, it would be a great benefit for the Yang family. While happiness filled the air here, the Lin family, thousands of miles away, did not have such a positive atmosphere. Lin Zhe was in the living room on the phone, saying hello. A Zhe, it's me, Li Wen. We found a lead on the paper and candy incident. I am Yun Jing. Mr. Zhang has found the address of the factory, if this candy wrapper is left by your mother, then she must be in Yunjing Linze tightly holds the phone, Li Wen's words keep echoing in his head, finally there is a clue, Linze smiles mom, I am finally taking one step closer to you after 18 years, 
Lin Zhe hears news about his biological mother for the first time, for Lin Zhe, there is no better New Year's gift than this. After hanging up the phone, Lin Zhe goes to the dining room, Lin Madam looks up at Lin Zhe as A come here to eat after Lin Madam finishes speaking, she looks at Lin Jin Ching today is New Year's Eve. I plan to invite Tian Hua and Tian Tian to our house for dinner tonight. Lin Jin Ching calmly said, Our family is from outside, not suitable for each other. Madam Lin looked at her son, If you marry Tian Hua, then they will no longer be outsiders. Lin Jin Ching continued to refuse, I will not marry. Lin Zhe also spoke up, Grandma, I don't like Aunt Fong, and I don't want her to come to our house. This is the first time Lin Zhe has expressed his thoughts. Mrs. Lin slammed the table in anger, unable to contain her frustration, do you all want to make me angry to death? After getting angry, Mrs. Lin hugged her chest tightly and said cough, cough Ola madam, are you okay? Mrs. Zhang hurriedly ran over to support Mrs. Lin a bit. Mr. Jin Qing, young master, Ola madam's health has not been good from the beginning. Why provoke Ola Madam during the Lunar New Year? Mrs. Zhang sighed and then said, Although I am just a servant of the Lin family, Miss Tianhua comes to take care of Ola Madam every day, even her own daughter is not as attentive. Mr. Jin Qing, even if you have a hard head, after so many years, you should realize what Miss Tianhua has done for the Lin family. Anyone with eyes can see that. But father and son Lin Jin Qing and Lin Zhe couldn't see it. Mom, don't be angry, Lin Jin Ching raised his head to look at Madame Lin, there are other things I can promise you, but not this. I have told you before that living together with Feng Tianhua is impossible. Seeing his father's reaction, Lin Zhe breathed a sigh of relief, you're very eloquent, Dad. Lin Zhe raised his thumb in approval, and Mrs. Lin, furious, stood up and said, I'm not having breakfast anymore. She asked Mrs. Zhang to take her to her room to rest. On the other side of the Feng family's villa, despite being supported by the Lin family, the sister-in-law still looks down on Feng Tianhua, just like now, sister-in-law Xing Fu Jin glances at Feng Tianhua, saying, Tianhua, you and Lin Jin Qing have been together for so many years, it's almost Lunar New Year, and another year is about to pass. When will Lin Jin Qing ever answer you? If you keep dragging it out, you'll grow old, or are you thinking about Ba Shen that sister used to tell you about? Feng Tianhua thinks, Ba Shen is a new rich man in Beijing, not only ugly but also has some special interests, all five of his wives have divorced him, one of them jumped from the eleventh floor because she couldn't bear the humiliation, and is still unconscious in the hospital, as Madame Feng walked down from upstairs, she heard her daughter-in-law mocking Feng Tianhua. Instead of stopping her, she added, Boston may not look pleased, but he has money and power, which benefits our daughter and Tian Tian. She paused and then solemnly said, Don't ruin yourself for a man who doesn't even care for you. As a mother, I will not harm my child. Feng Tianhua clenched his teeth in anger, with a hint of mockery in his eyes. This mother thinks she can easily deceive me, but little does she know that she only has four sons in her heart. Once I take over the position of the mistress of the Lin family, I will make them regret. I have waited 18 years to marry Lin Jin Qing, how could I give up now? Feng Tianhua hid the pain on her face, smiled and looked up at her mother, Mother, I will go to the Lin family for the New Year's celebration tonight, I will go first and talk to you when I come back. Hearing this, everyone in the room was shocked, the mother's eyes lit up, suspiciously, did the Lin family invite you? Feng Tianhua nodded, of course. Humph, you all are greedy, see if you still look down on me. After leaving the villa, Feng Tianhua's face turned from white to gloomy. Mother, you didn't see the look on grandma's face, haha. <laughs> yes, Lin family is a powerful family after all. At this moment, Feng Tianhua's phone rang. Aunt Zhang, I want to come over, what's up? After answering the phone, her expression changed noticeably. Her daughter hurriedly asked, Mother, what's wrong? Feng Tianhua suppressed the anger in her heart. Grandma Lam has something today, we won't go to Lin family anymore. The girl was very disappointed but didn't say anything. Yizhua's family is very lively this year, 
with a Lunar New Year program playing on the TV in the living room. Yishua hurriedly ran out from the supermarket as his mom told him to quickly buy vinegar. Yishu was waiting at home, so Yishua ran very fast. Suddenly, at the corner ahead, she bumped into a pedestrian crossing the street, and the vinegar bottle slipped out of her hand with a loud sound. The glass bottle broke, and the smell of vinegar immediately filled the air. I'm sorry, are you okay? Yishua hurriedly apologized, it's okay, as the man lightly patted the layer of fat on his coat, this voice seemed somewhat familiar. Yishua raised her head to look up, it was Tong Sua Wu, Tong Sua Wu didn't expect the person who bumped into him to be Yishua, both of them were stunned for a moment, he remembered something, took out a handkerchief, intending to ask if she wanted to roll up her sleeves to wipe it, Yishua declined saying it's fine, I'll go change clothes, there's work to do at home, I'll leave first, she said goodbye, as she turned around and ran home, after Yishua turned around, Tong Sua Wu's eyes. Displayed disappointment, he stared at Yishua's figure with regret, what a pity, can't see if there's a bruise on her hand.